Audio test. Audio test. Not too much delay. Um, I see a couple of you in chat already. Sir Trance, Sphinx, Shadow, Lowbrow, Oma, Holy Mike, how's it going? Yeah, the the flight deck carrier Connie and the D7 Miracle Worker flight deck carrier, uh, which I'm seeing both mentioned in chat right now, are by and far like the the best carriers you're probably going to be able to use right now with these new consoles because they can run seven of them. So there's been requests that I have the the webcam back up again. I don't have lighting over towards that side of things right now. Um, there's just not room for for me to put a lamp there right now. I'm looking at getting something to you know attach a light to the wall, but that's not exactly been my top priority. And I'm also not in the same chair. That other one, my my normal office chair that I was using, um, had a part break last year, and the company uh, Serta never sent me a replacement part, even though they promised back in October. So I got in touch with them again, followed up, and they gave me a full refund. But I haven't received the uh, the check yet to go out and buy a new chair. Light not important. Where is UFO background? Megla. Um, get those crazy eyes back up. 10 p.m. for you, Voyager. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Um, as you guys saw on the Discord, I got a new car today. 2012 GMC. Oh, uh, I can't remember the name now, but um, it's, it's an SUV basically. So we got a good deal on it. Everything looks good on it. And it's just nice to, to have something from the 2000s because I was driving a 97 Chevy Tahoe before. Do I still have Mark II Advanced Inch consoles left over? Yes. So getting these consoles, I know there's been a lot of questions as to the, the difficulty of getting them. And I think long term, that may very much be an issue. Um, but short term, I think there's so much being flooded onto the market right now when it comes to these new engineering consoles and the new science ones that you can go onto the exchange and pick up a full set of these for, for your ship for not that much money. Or I think if you go in and you buy 20 bucks worth of promo packs and you sell those on the exchange, you should probably have more than enough EC to go and craft a bunch of these consoles. Um, I did, I did cover that a little bit um, on Thursday. I want to get a guide out though, going over the the advanced R and D stuff. So tomorrow might be a dual video day. Again, I was out, you know, the majority of today. Um, I still need to get a news video done because there are some sales to talk about. There's the fact that you can now get banned if someone reports you for talking about AFKing a TFO in a chat channel. So, you know, that's a warning that needs to go out to people. And uh, there, there's a couple other little things that definitely need a news video. Yeah. Uh, so let me pull up the wiki page that actually goes over everything. In, in nice detail. So advanced R and steel wiki. As soon as the wiki page loads. Yeah, there was it was posted in the Discord. Um there was someone talking about how like just uh how they would clear the first wave in Jupiter Radis and then AFK the rest of it in a private TFO. So solo on their own, not impacting other players. And with Cryptic cracking down on AFK stuff this year, um, someone did report that player for making that comment in a chat channel, and that player received a one-day suspension. So Cryptic does not appear to be going out and looking for people saying AFK in chat. Rather, if someone reports you for talking about how to AFK certain content, 
cryptic will give you, uh, you know, you know, they'll punish you. Um, so with regards to the, the places that you can get these new components, I'll be talking about all of this in a video that I'll probably have out tomorrow, but this is a high priority video for me to get out. So, um, it will be happening, but if you want to grind the, the, uh, particles to make the, the consoles for the, these hanger pet ones here, um, the three cues that drop the components are Vault Ensnared, Vault Ensnared, Herald Sphere, and Best Served Cold on Elite Difficulty. Those are the only three cues that drop them. Um, but they all, all of these parts do drop from the um, R&D Infinity Packs. So there's actually a really large supply of them on the market right now. And if you just want to skip playing TFOs and you just want to throw EC at it, you can look up like uh, this thing right here, the Advanced Engineering Fragment Subspace Communications Power Piece. If you look that up on the exchange under all, every five of these can be converted into the, the core for that console, and each one of these consoles you craft just needs one core. So you can basically get... If you go to the exchange, you, you can buy the parts to make one of these consoles for like 20 million EC. The expensive part is re-rolling the modifiers on them to get the one that you want. Sorry, I am really far behind on chat. Kyle, thank you for the membership. Um, can you still AFK Starburst one? I think they fixed that. I'm just reading chat here. Best served cold is buggy with the prisoner transports. Thank you for the information. Yeah, the thing is, too, is if you want to just go to the exchange and buy one of these consoles, if you go to the engineering console under ship consoles and you just look up hangar craft power, you can buy these consoles for as cheap as 25 million EC per. And if you have one of these that you get that has bad modifiers, like here's one that I got with Tricobalt. Guess what? They can be re-engineered. They can be re-engineered. And this one with Tricobalt could be re-engineered to have the phaser buff on it. You know, there, it just got the photon buff. I can re-roll it again. Now, just keep in mind that there are the resistance modifiers in here also. So if you see PHA... That's phaser resistance. You need act like the full phaser word if you want the, the damage boosting one. It's expensive re-engineering. It's meant to be a dilithium sink. That that's the thing, is this is literally meant to be a dilithium sink. These res all ones are selling for that much. And sometimes, too, you might get one that has a modifier. It may not be the one you're looking for, but you might be able to just sell the thing. Like, I just craft, you know, I just re-engineered this one, and it got res all. And you look at the market, those things are selling crazy high. I'll put that up for 50. Um, So I, I have also, um, off stream, I have been messing around with the Delkina using the the other engineering console, the one that is plus weapon power, and the results that I've been seeing from that have been incredible. Like, honestly, the, some of the runs that I've been able to get with that Delkina build with them, especially doing the, the plasma stuff with that Gorn trait, just really good numbers. Like, this isn't even, like, a coordinated run. This is a channel run that happened with the tank, and that Delkina using those new plus weapon power consoles, 1.525 million DPS in a not fully coordinated channel run. The, the results have been really good. Um, I am still missing some comments here, so let me let me catch up on chat before I get too far into things. So let me drag this over. Yeah, definitely do price per unit. Yeah. 
Um, if you go for single listings of the actual fragments and cores, you're going to spend more. If you buy in bulk, you save. Yeah, and that's not a surprise, too. For some people, the difference between the plus weapon power inch consoles and your vulnerability locators may literally only be a couple percent. Um, you know, the, not everyone needs to swap to these new things. Your, your Spire consoles are still, you know, pretty damn good. They still seem overpriced, but it is early. You always pay an early adopter fee in STO. Howdy, Alan. Are there full set bonuses as well for these consoles? No, but the effects from them do stack. Did I see exploiter consoles can be re-rolled? Yeah. Yeah, uh, this night I did hear that. So if you are looking at getting a set of these consoles, it may be more advantageous for you to do so sooner rather than later. Um, just for the simple fact that re-rolling them is going to get even harder once they've added the science modifiers to the engineering consoles and the engineering modifiers to the science ones. Is weapon power... Well, you would still have the phaser mod on there. Like, if you're on a phaser build, the, the engineering consoles you're looking at here are probably like the, you know, these isomagnetic plasma distribution manifold Mark 15 phaser. You still get the same damage buff that your Spire console has. You're just swapping the crit chance or severity for plus weapon power and plus max weapon power. On my Delkina, I'm sitting at 160 weapon power all the time. Like, the effects of these do stack. Short has a gun. I do want to say, too, um, thank you to whoever um, donated 20 the other day. It put it up as anonymous, but I just want to say thank you if you're listening. That is very much appreciated. Uh, Discord message. Do they have diminishing returns on the stacks? Nope. Well, thank you, Megla. If that was you. Yeah, sitting the like is appreciated. Liking the Elite Valkyrie pets for Torp Heavy pets? That's what I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be using the D7 Merrick Worker Flight Deck Carrier with seven of these new consoles. Spud, how's it going? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the side consoles go. Uh, perhaps just at night. I don't know what the math is looking like there. So I'm going to beam up to space, show the weapon power on the Delkina real quick, and then I am going to swap over to the D7 and start working on this carrier. So the point of using the plus weapon power consoles um, is that they directly impact... Am I blocking this? I am blocking them. I'm turning the webcam off right now. Nick, thank you for the five Australian. <laughs> Just as I turn the webcam off. <laughs> so uh, as you can see here, it's really small. Let me let me zoom in on this. Okay, let's let's zoom in on this. Look at my power levels right now. Okay, 161 weapon power. Again, shield power basically useless in the current state of the game. Engine power is good for moving around. Ox power is good for size stuff and some of the uh, the torp stuff if you're doing that. Um, shield power, pretty much worthless. Don't max it out. I don't know why people do. It hurts me every time I see it. Um, but yeah, engine or weapon power here. 161 over 100. And that does stack with other plus max power items. So if I hit OSS, that goes right there. 206. 201, you know, it, it's stacking perfectly fine with all these other plus weapon power things. So, that is why you're seeing people go nuts for the, the plus weapon power consoles. There's also some people um, refusing to, to accept them. They don't want to drop their, their Spire consoles, and that's perfectly fine. You know, your Spire consoles are still perfectly fine. This is just opening competing options. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, the D7, I... The D7 Miracle Worker Flight Deck Carrier is honestly such a good platform. Nick, thank you for the 10 gifted. Very much appreciated. I'm gonna... Like, I, I'm gonna have to update that list even more. I'm gonna have to add in, like, another column again. Uh, I mean, 10 might fit there. <laughs> gonna have to do one of those scrolling lists. You want the camera? Turn it back on. Um, Rydia, no, it's different. How do you make level one common items? You buy them from a vendor. If you see mark one items that are common, they're probably from a vendor near a shipyard. Okay, so right now I've got Todouge on. I'm going to be dropping those. I'm going to run the Valkyries. Because I like the Valkyries. Again, Nicholas, thank you, man. Very much appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with a heavy pet focus here. I'm going to drop some of this haste stuff. Um, I'm just going to drop consoles for now, and then I'll put things back on as I go through this. I am going to run Plasma, because the set of consoles that I have right now is for Plasma. And I'm sort of... I'm sort of just feeling like Plasma is just really good right now with that, that new Gorn trait. Yeah, the D7 Merc Worker Flight Deck Carrier is a 5-3 layout with two hangar bays, and it's a Merc Worker ship, so if you upgrade it to T6X, you can run seven of these hangar pet consoles. Do I have a link of what TFOs? Yeah, let me drop that in chat again. The, the wiki details, it follows the same pool as the, uh, the different, um, the, the older R&D materials. Yeah. So if you have a promotional R&D pack, or you have an event campaign box you want to use, this is a pretty damn good choice. Now, you run seven of these consoles, you're boosting the pets up quite a bit. Now... As much as I want to continue doing this on live, I think it's going to be more beneficial if I do this over on Tribble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in and copy my character over to Tribble because I believe these are actually on the Tribble test server now. And the benefit that I have there is that I can take these off and see what the pets did beforehand, and then I can put them on and see what the pets, you know, do afterwards. So that's going to be a more scientific approach rather than going in with all of the RNG that we have in, like, a, an infected. Because infected is as consistent as we like to think infected can be. It's not. It's not consistent enough. Copying my character to Tribble. Let's get the game launcher opened up. Well, the thing is, too, Dustin, if you're it depends on where your build is at, like how many of the pay to win, you know, type crit chance traits do you have? Um, because uh, there were quite a few high end, like uh, high end energy weapon builds that were already at such a high crit chance that they. You know, that they, they were already running exploiters just to get the crit severity instead. Um, so. For some people, they're not really losing, you know, too much crit chance here. Players are learning the fail requirements, which is good. I like that elite content is getting more activity. That was one of the things that I was very much hoping to see, and I'm glad that we are seeing that here. 
Yeah, so some of the workarounds people are doing to get around um, the the limitations with those those plus power consoles is they're running the Bellum TAC consoles or the Fleet Colony ones. So I'm going to swap back to the Delkina just to show that here quickly. Um, so on my Delkina, I ran the Fekiri Torment Engine, the Lorca, and then three Colony TAC consoles in my TAC slots while running the plus weapon power engineering consoles and that you know that works perfectly fine those colony consoles you don't get crit but you're still getting the damage buff and you're getting a heal off of them if you really do want crit then the discovery rep has tac consoles in it that will give you a, a little bit less damage boost but you're still getting your crit chance so that those options do still exist if you want to still have crit chance with this. Did I hit the, the button? Apparently not. Hold on. Just taking its time. Um, the Valkus does have the benefit that it can use the Romulan drone ships uh, from the, the Scimitar. So those are a different type of pets you could use. I don't know, you know, how how well it's, you know, going to, to perform and be competitive and all that. I don't have an answer in, on that. How many advanced consoles should be, we be running? Um, the logic that I am personally working with right now is that when, whether you're running the plus weapon power ones or the these hanger pet ones that I'm about to, to use here, I think you have to full commit. Like, if you're going to use these new things, you can't use the Spire consoles at the same time. So you need to think of them as if they were Spire attack consoles. The logic that you applied to Spires, where you just run as many as you can, needs to apply to these new things. Like, every engineering console slot I have and the universal slots is going to these new consoles. You want to run Lorca? You can run that in attack slot. You want to run Fekiri? Do, you know, there's attack console slot you can use. I, I just think that if you're going for these new consoles, you either full commit or what's the point? But that's pretty much the logic I'm going with is you either full commit or you don't commit at all. Wow, this is zoomed in. Okay. Let me zoom this way out. Yeah, if you're running the Titan, exactly. Go all seven slots. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to run these plasma consoles here. Another thing I need to mention too, and I do have a like three of these up on the exchange before someone says I'm manipulating the market. Um, but Wing Commander, these new hangar pet engineering consoles scale up the damage boost that they provide your pets based on the rank of your pets. The longer your pets are alive, the higher the rank is. And rank five is the max. So you can get a pretty large boost out of this. But Wing Commander is a personal space trait that you can get off the exchange for like 30 to 50 million, and it makes your pets level up faster. So you get the damage buff from these consoles up to a higher point faster with your hangar pets. Nice to take another look at the legendary DD. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure people will. Okay, for, for this I'm going to run Ultimate Omni, and then I'm going to run my Viridian stuff. Again, I have been running Plasma quite a bit recently. My reasoning behind this is that I think the accessories off of the Gorn Hunter uh, Pilot Raider are enough that it actually makes Plasma competitive. Like, I, I think in Elite content, or any content where things don't die instantly, I think the Plasma stuff off of the Gorn makes Plasma very competitive and potentially better than phaser or disruptor in some scenarios especially places where targets actually live long enough if things die right away in the content you're doing phaser or disruptor is still best if they don't then you know these things are nice 
elite scorpion fighters yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna basically i'm gonna go in use all the plus pet stuff i don't i don't know why i'm putting weapons on my ship i'm not gonna fire my weapons um i'm just gonna let the pets do their own thing for a couple minutes then take the the put the consoles on and repeat the test immersive Cardassian Torp satellite console that that may even be boosted by this to be honest let's try that I'm curious um there is some bugs apparently pets are being boosted by this or pets uh mines are being boosted by some of this so don't be surprised if they you know continue to tune things here near term and I'm missing a pet console it's a uh, high energy do I have it here Do. Plus one rank to hangar pets, so that's off of the one of the Jembadar ships. I don't remember which, but that'll be an interesting console with this. Inventory full. Okay, I'm on triple, so. What can I delete? I'm going to have to delete a couple things. Also, with these new consoles, be incredibly careful with them. Um, they are salvageable. And I, I'm curious what happens when you salvage one. Do you get the, the parts back? No, you don't. So if you salvage one of these things, you get major screwed over. So don't do it. Make sure to protect them as soon as you get them. Because you don't you don't even get the like the fragments back from, from the, uh, the stuff. So that'd be, that'd be really terrible. Someone's going to do that and be so incredibly annoyed. Okay. I'm going to head over to Drozana now. Spin the wheel. Does it boost the Kobe? Probably does. Um, I am. I have missed a lot of things in chat and I do apologize. Um, let me... Yeah, the consoles are character bound and um they they do cost a lot to re-engineer. Um Dustin, I'm just seeing your comment. Weapon power. Uh weapon power it can be a fairly significant boost for for your energy weapons, so yeah, it can be be pretty beneficial, especially given the fact that you can still run like Bellums or um like fleet colony attack consoles. Like you you really the big thing is here, you're basically just dropping a lot of your universal consoles. Now, for the exact math on how the weapon power impacts things, I think the still better folks will probably be explaining that at some point with a guide. Uh, I know they do already have some stuff up on their mechanics guide going over over weapon power and where it factors into the, the damage formula. Um, but while I understand, you know, the, the fundamentals of how, you know, the the power like the, the damage categories work and all that, I, I can't dive into, you know, how much of a difference that's gonna be between X and Y. J, yes. I imagine you guys probably been messing around with these these new consoles. Are the DPRM consoles still worth it if you're someone that doesn't have one? I mean, DPRM is still a good survivability console. Um, and, I mean, if you have the funds and you're using one of the other consoles in the set, then, yeah, it's something I would look at. Um, as for, like, going... Super crazy to, to get them. And that's that's up to you. I I have builds where I don't use the EPRM and I have them where I do. And I mean, it it helps. There's no question about that. But I don't think it's absolutely a must have. But it's definitely a very nice tool to have on hand for the times where you do need it. If that makes sense. 
you're looking at the exotic consoles. My first impression of those was that they looked fairly mediocre. Um, but the numbers they did show off were not that great. Are you guys seeing a different result now that you've you know had time to, to mess around with them? Are they actually you know looking impactful? Biowave. What is the best C store carrier for the new hangar consoles? Good question. Um, so let me let me just get a fresh copy of this without showing my entire Google Drive history. Okay. File make a copy. What's today's date? Six, ten, twenty three. Let's take a look at the two hangar bay ships in the sea store, see what options we have here for. Hangar bay is two. The issue with the Terran monitor for, for this stuff is that you need a ton of engineering consoles. The Terran monitor at most can, can run, you know, four there, which is a bit annoying. The Cardassian Gamor, uh, I saw that pop up in chat. That, the Silic. Um, let me change the filter here so it shows just these store ships. Yeah, pretty slim pick in here. Um, so, for clarification, the Tellarite, Orion, and Sil Sulban Silic are basically the same ship, just different factions um and those do have fleet versions so you don't even have to get the sea store one if you don't want um the cardassian gamor probably is yeah your best option unfortunately that's a five three two hangar bays five engineering consoles so you'd be able to run six of these um if you have the 10th bundle then there's the legendary version of the discovery connie in there that can run six Was the, did I make a mistake there? I thought the Terran monitor said two. Yeah, it's just two engineering consoles on the, on this page. Is that wrong? Yeah, the, the plus pet consoles are engineering consoles. Nick, I just looked at the uh, messages you sent to me. Thank you for not sending the same type as last time, um, but terrible. Yeah, Miracle Worker, Miracle Worker is finally good. I know. How terrible is that? That's horrendous. Can't have that. Can't have Miracle Worker being good. So. Yeah, these, these new consoles are engineering consoles, and I'm going to, I need to type a response to someone real quick. So I'm going to take a picture of one of these and zoom in on it so you guys can see the tooltip a bit better. Because I know it's a bit small on the screen right now. So let me zoom in on this, and then I'm going to just quickly respond to something in Discord. Mac, how's it going? Um, yeah, so all of the, the, the plus hangar pet consoles here, as you can see, are advanced engineering. The, the two science consoles are, well, there's one for EPG and then there's one for drain for, for the science side. So if you're looking for, you know, like boosting your pets up as far as possible, you see the issue here is you need an inch heavy ship and the best option we probably have is the D7 Merc Worker Flight Deck Carrier and the the Donny version of that. Remember, the Discovery Constitution and the D7 Merc Worker Flight Deck Carrier are basically the same ship stats-wise. The difference is the D7 has a different trait, different skin, obviously, and it has a battle cloak. 
Gemini Dreadnought Carrier is five or four engineer and eight. That is a good question. Let me take a look. So let's swap this back a little bit. Let's take that C store filter off. Locked all. Gemini Dreadnought Carrier. That is five. So the Gem Dread would be a really really nice option here too because that could do six of these things with the uh the legendary jump attack ships or the you know the, the pets i don't know why i said legendary there i'm just so used to saying legendary jump attack ship now where is the jorgomo here Doesn't even make the list. I'm sorry, Megla. Oh, no, there it is. I'm blind. That's got four. I mean, that, that can do six, but. Support carrier gem. Legendary gem at our flagship. Yeah, I'd like to have a legendary flagship. That's a full carrier. That'd be a pretty nice option in the, the store. So let me get to the point of what I'm doing here because um, we're going off track a little bit. I am going to be testing um, the like before and after effect of using these consoles and I'm going to be using the Elite Valkyrie Fighter Squadrons here. I'm going to have two bays launched for the traits. I am going to do, let's see here, Wing Commander. That's a really good one with these these pet boosts because that will make your pets rank up faster and allow them to get the damage buff to a higher stack faster. On the Starship trait side of things, I'm going to do um, Sad, obviously. And I'm not even too worried about like damage boost for myself. I'm not going to be firing my weapons. We'll do Strike Group Command Authority, which I believe is fixed now. Um, I, unfortunately, I don't have scramble fighters, so I will not have that on for this test, but these things aren't going to die anyway, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, is there any other pet trait that I am just glaringly missing right now? Like sad, um, and strike group are the two big ones I'm thinking of right now. Am I missing something? Do I have relaunch and repair? No, I do not. I don't have scramble on this character. So we're going to be missing that for, for this. And the pets I'm using are going to benefit from sad. So coordinated assault shouldn't do too much for him, right? Yeah, coordinated assault won't do anything for, for these pets that I'm running. These ones benefit from sad. It's another Enterprise. Do I have that on this character? I don't know if I do. No, I don't have it. Okay, we got the, the I think the two that are probably going to be the most common, um, which is going to be Superior Area Denial and Strike Group Command Authority, because those are those are fairly common, I think. They pack a punch. I apparently I am missing a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of things here to boost pets up. That's fine. Okay, let me let me get the the pets out here. And for the abilities I do have on to boost the pets, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just going to spam those, basically. So, deploy mobile torpedo platform. We'll see if that gets buffed. Engage the Hydra. That. And the first test here is going to be without these consoles on. So I'm taking all seven of them off. 
and we're going to get the before and then I'm going to put them on and we're going to see how much of a difference that has. Let me get the two pays out. Chris, how's it going? Assault craft give you the Hydra 50% bonus. I I don't I don't have every plus pet thing, unfortunately. Okay. The pets are not recalling. There they go. Choose combat settings, test dummies. Five. I do need to fix the bridge officer layout because apparently, you know, it would probably help if I'm going to run sad to, to have, you know, things on. Yeah. I'll run two copies of both just in case things misfire, which, I mean, it's still, that's going to happen. And turn auto fire off. Okay. Combat logs on. Let me set the combat log to the right location. That rank is making a huge DPS, I can imagine. I believe it. And I will be cloaked just to make sure I don't fire. Is there any other energy lance consoles like the Immolating Phaser Lance? No. But the Immolating Phaser Lance is good enough that you can run it on like a Disruptor build. No issue. It's legitimately good enough. Nadarian is perfectly viable. Nice. I still hate it, though. I do not like the Nadarian. I, I think it's... I just don't like the playstyle that it enables. Okay, we're starting up the first test, so I'm going to let the pets shoot for, for a couple minutes here. Yeah, it's great. The Valkyries, the visual is like really good. I did a really nice job with this. I have not tested that, so I, I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's very satisfying to watch. Like it's it, these Valkyrie pets, honestly, just I think, you know, they, they perform like less than 10 percent worse than the toe douche and the testing that I did a while back, but they just look so good, you know?
so I'm going to let this go for five minutes, and then I will log out of the map, slot the consoles, and have another go at it. Yeah, sad is huge. Sad is a huge buff for pets. Look at all the torques too. Like how many torques these Valkyrie pets fire is just, it's visually, immer you know, immersive. Yeah, as far as I remember, the, the blue Todus are still, you know, really high performing. With the Todus, you basically have this, but with, like, blue weapons, or blue or green, right? I think it was Mirror Shuttles, yeah. Um, Amdar, I have not tested with anything other than the Valkyries you see on screen right now so far. Like, I'm in the process of doing a before and after. It's... So, if you do not have superior area denial, the toe douche do perform really bad. If you do have superior area denial, that's where the toe douche really start to become quite quite good. Yeah, I think if if you look at the different categories they have, I think they have like just baseline, then sad, and then with coordinated assault for, for their tier list. Sad is hugely impactful on hanger pets that have pulse cannons specifically. Do we have Cytorp pets? The closest are probably those new uh, Temporal Op Scorpions. That's probably your best bet for, for Cytorp. So the before is that in about five minutes these these uh, Valkyries with none of the new consoles on did about 117k DPS. It's pretty good, you know, but that's fine. But I'm going to reset the test here, and I'm going to slap seven of these consoles on this ship. Now, I'll bring this picture back up so you guys can see what exactly these consoles do. But each of them, and the, just a reminder, this stacks, which is why the D7 Miracle Worker Flight Deck Carrier and the, the Miracle Worker Discovery Connie are so good for hangar pets right now, is that this effect stacks. So if you're getting plus 40% torp damage per rank, and you've got seven of these on, and your pets can, you know, rank up to five, that's a pretty substantial boost you're going to be getting there. Uh, Chili, if you're listening, I don't think the, the Maelstrom is going to be replaced playing time soon. Yeah, it's just really good. Um, I'm getting messages here, so let me leave this up on screen for another minute. Let's see. I'll let it begin. Okay, here we go. 
Let's get the second Bay of Pets out. I'm going to recall them again, and I'm going to cloak. So, you know, I'm not going to be in the combat here, the, just the pets. And this is the exact same setup as before, just now with the engineering consoles on. If the pets want to dock, that is. I hate that sometimes they just... You recall them and they just don't go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to back up to about the same spot I was before. Yeah, the RNG, I'm out, I'm about 50 to 60 promo packs in with no ship right now. When will I get the event campaign recommendations video done? I want to get it done soon. Um, that's a, you know, that there's a lot of videos that I need to get caught up on. And it's just, just, you know, just the, the past couple days been busy. Okay, I'm going to be focusing on keeping sat up as much as possible here, so expect me to, to be a little quiet for, for the next couple minutes. Okay, launch pets, and here we go. Yeah, it's very immersive. I mean, the pets are clearly doing more damage already. Testing the five. The Maelstrom Torp is just so good right now. That's the issue with that. There's a lot of UI elements that typically drag down performance, so if they said that, that's not surprising. Osiris, how's it going? Yeah, the Valkyrie pets are unlocked from either the Seneca or the, the Norway. Definitely looks heavier. I'm, I mean, I am closer too, but that doesn't matter because I'm cloaked. Like their DPS is just climbing at this point. That might be something good too to, to test is is it you know how much are you getting per console? We're 
closing. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a pretty substantial gain so far. It was like 118 on the first one. Like, this is clearly having a massive impact. This is seven. Try five next, okay. Yeah, because if if you can get most of the benefit from just running like five of these, then you know that that'll be good enough for most people. So first test was 117k. Let me open a calculator. 117544.64, and the second result here. was 230.508.28. So quite a big jump there. Um, if we die, divide these um, 54.64. Pretty big, pretty big jump. It's not quite double, but Pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. That's with seven of the consoles on. So now the test I'll do, because you guys asked for it, is going to be with just five of these consoles on. Because realistically, that is what most of your most of your carriers are going to be looking at just four or five of these consoles. So we're going to see now what happens with five of them on and it ought to be interesting. So same thing. I'm going to launch them here. Almost double the DPS. Beautiful indeed. Test with scorpion fighters. I don't have, I don't think I have all the scorpion fighters. I don't, I don't have a ton of pets to, to test here. Um, the only other test I was thinking of doing here was probably going to be the Toe Douge. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to have time to, to run through every last set of pets we have here. But if we can see, you know, how does... If the scaling lines up between a couple different pets, then... Do I have the Dominion Carriers? I do on a different character. And unfortunately... I mean, I, I could move this stuff over on on live because it's not bound yet on live. Uh, so what have we learned yet? With seven of these consoles on, the pets basically doubled their, their damage output. So if you're wanting to, to boost hanger pets up, these do seem to be a fairly substantial boost. The downside is you can't run them at the same time as vulnerability locators or exploiters, but you can still use like the fleet colony attack consoles, the Bellum from the discovery reputation. There are still alternatives out there that you can actually use. Yeah, and there's going to be some testing I just am not going to be able to get to today with what I'm doing. Um, like there's a lot of ships, you know, people are asking for, I just don't have on the character that I'm testing this stuff on. The question now is, well, the thing is, you know, you can still like, you can get these with like a phaser mod. You can get these. So the ones I have are plasma. Mr. Strange, thank you for the casual membership there, but 
the the point is like you're giving up the the two percent crit chance or the you know the ten percent severity for these pet buffs so the question is not is you know you're not losing the full spire attack console which is what you know some people have been going out claiming that's not true you can get these with the damage modifiers you can get a phaser one of these you can get a disruptor one i'm using the plasma like you're trading the crit chance to get these buffs the buffs are random the buffs are random and re-engineering them is a massive pain the list of possible mods is quite long and they're talking about expanding it so <laughs> You're looking at a lot of Dilithium and Salvage to reroll these consoles to the modifiers you want. If you don't want to go through that trouble, you can literally just buy the ones you want off the exchange. Yeah. Well, if you get a modifier that's good enough, like if you get a Polaron or Disruptor, you know, modifier and you want Tetrion, you can go sell it on the exchange. If you get one of these damage modifier ones, you can sell it on the exchange and then use that EC to buy the one that you're wanting. Okay. These pets are recalled. I'm going to cloak. This is with five of these consoles equipped and we'll see how it goes. Am I far away? No, I'm close enough. Okay. Here go the pets. That's an awesome light show for sure. Yeah, Sad is on. Adam, how's it going? Sorry, if I'm not paying too much attention to chat, it's because I'm trying to keep these uh, superior area denial up, which means I have to alternate hitting abilities every 10 seconds. How would I rank the new Picard ships? Um, the Excelsior 2 is probably top of that list. Uh, the, the Stargazer has uses as a tank. The Titan... The Titan isn't that bad. It's just underwhelming for what it is. Um, am I going to test the drain consoles also? Maybe eventually, but that's the science consoles are not my top priority. I think the engineering consoles are really where the value is of this update. Ice tonight, how's it going? I, I was just looking at the ones you labeled there. The Inquiry is probably, for Picard ships, the Inquiry and Delkina are absolutely the top performers. Um, I was just looking at the three you mentioned, I'm sorry. Or, oh, you did mention the Inquiry. Uh, look, it's 9 p.m., I'm tired. I'm sorry. The Delkina, though, I really like the Delkina. The Delkina and the Inquiry are both amazing ships.
Yeah, it's just been a long day. Bought a car earlier. Really excited about that. Um. Trying to remember. I'm going to turn this game sound down a little bit more. Yeah. Game sound should be really quiet now. Uh, we got a 2012 GMC Terrain or something. It was, it was a good price. Um, I know it's not the newest thing ever, but... It works. My 97 Chevy Tahoe is just on its last limb for, for a while. It was having some issues, and we need the replacement. Yeah, I've gotten about a mil on a E2 Surgical Strikes build, uh, running the, the crafted pen beams. I sort of did it as a meme just to, to show that Crafted pen could still do well, and then just never did anything with it. I would go for seven ice knight. I think if you're going to use these new consoles, you full commit. Uh, what bridge officers am I using? I'm on a Romulan captain, so SROs. Yeah, you are giving up a lot of universal slots, though. That's the issue with these things. Oh. Yeah, that tests a couple seconds longer. So, clearly, there is a benefit to running more of these things. Um, with none of the consoles on, the the jump went from... When I started with none of these on, it was 117k. When I used seven of them, I went to 230k from the pets. And when I had just five of them on, I was at 189k. Let me do some math here. Wonder if we can just like directly see the, the DPS increase with each console. Not having a numpad right now sucks. For whatever reason, I don't know why. The the fancy uh, KBD pad, numpad I had, the, the PCB on it just stopped working. So, gonna have to order another one of those, but with the shipping costs they have, because they're in China, I'm probably just gonna have to just do a bulk order, get like two or three of them just to toss this somewhere. Because their shipping fee costs as much as the, the PCB. There's no increase if I, uh, buy, buy bulk there. Okay, so 230.508.18 minus 7. So in the, if we just math it out here, like the, the first, the first run I had seven of these consoles on, and each console, if you divide the, if you take the DPS difference and you divide it by seven, that was the impact of each console. Now, let's see how that lines up when I compare the, the five consoles to uh, the, the none. So, 189.075 minus 7.544. The other thing is, too, that the reason that more is better is because on top of being a pet, like a boost to the hangar pet damage or to the, the torpedo damage, each of these consoles does boost the weapon power of your hangar pets. And as they said on the stream, 
Um, your pets, when they fire their weapons, their, their power levels don't go down. They remain static wherever it's at. So every one of these you add for your pets is boosting their max weapon power and giving them, you know, more actual power to work with. So on top of, you know, getting the, that, the larger boost for the torpedo damage, the actual energy weapons on your hangar pets are doing substantially more with each of these consoles slotted. Now, the next test I think to do would be to just run one of these things and just see if... I, I don't think you should ever run just one of them. I, I think if you run these things, you full commit. But just, just to have that number there, let's do it with just one and see how it goes. I don't, I really, I don't think there's a point in running these if you can't run at least, at least, you know, like five of them. I think if you can go for six or seven, that would be ideal, but let's see, what is the boost provided by just a single console? You predict 125k, so you're thinking it's only going to be a 7k increase? You're probably not wrong. Yeah, watch it be one gives the biggest boost. That would be like the peak STO thing, right? Well, when I had five of the consoles on, each console only provided 14.3k. So I, I expect that the less you run, the less impactful each console is. Yeah, it's an accelerated slope, yeah. I I imagine the, the so better folks will have fancy graphs and all that. I don't I don't do the math stuff too well. I don't know why I just opened that window. Of course I have it. Yeah, I've had success so far with the weapon power consoles, because there are other tack consoles you can run that still give you a nice boost. One breaks 200k? Yeah. Um, Vault Ensnared, Herald Sphere Elite are your two best options uh, for getting the materials for these hangar pack consoles. You may be better off just buying them off the exchange. Like, I, I think the consoles, you can get them now is for as cheap as like 25 mil per. The, the real cost is really down to re-engineering them. Plane? Plantain? Yeah, you're going to be right, aren't you? Yeah, over time, everything always comes down in price. That's the, the stow way. The more patient you can be, generally the, the cheaper things are going to be for you. Message here.
Uh, Daniel, you cannot use these consoles at the same time as the Spire ones. You have to pick or choose. You gotta give something up to run the new stuff. There are no new TAC consoles. Uh, you have the ability to make these consoles at any R&D level. They're just automatically unlocked in the, uh, the corresponding schools. Market manipulation? Never. I would never, ever be involved with such terrible things as market manipulation. That would never happen. Yeah, I think if you're using these consoles, you're most likely going to see the most benefit from using pets that have multiple, you know, weapon types on them. So Torps and I think Torp and Pulse Cannon are going to be your best bet. Um, so the, the Valkyrie Fighters, those, if you have the Norway or the, the Seneca, those are what I've been using. Um, but if you don't want to use those, then you can go down to the Shipyard Vendor. And you can grab the rare Toe Douge, which perform extremely well if you have the Superior Area Denial trait. Now, Superior Area Denial is a fairly expensive trait. Its original source is a lockbox ship. However, it is part of the 12th Anniversary Bundle. So if you're looking to set up carrier builds on a ton of characters, this trait is extremely impactful for your pets and you can get it on account wide unlock as part of that 12th anniversary bundle now the the rare toe douche i don't know if you have to have cross faction flying unlocked or like a specific Klingon ship i don't really remember um but the the point is you can go get these things right from the the vendor at your shipyard they got one of these at all the major shipyards and like the, these rare toe douche, if I can find them, I'm probably scrolling right over them. The toe douche fighter squadron, 25,000 DC. And that's basically the, the best hanger pet currently in the game. If you have superior area denial. I mean, there are other hanger pets that are, you know, still very capable. But the, these toe douche, they hit hard. They're, they're a little bit better than the pets that I've been using um, in the test so far. Why not the ultra rare version? For some unknown reason, if you get the higher ranks of the toe douche fighters, historically, they actually perform worse. I don't understand, you know, what exactly all is going on under the, the, the hood there, but that, that's apparently a thing.
if you don't have Toe Douche, the, the Valkyrie Fighters, if you want a more Fed themed thing, are perfectly fine. Um, the, the big thing is you want to look for pets that are, if you're using SAD, and specifically if you're using that SAD trait, Superior Area Denial, it's often referred to as SAD. If you're running SAD, the pets you are using, you want to make sure that they have pulse cannons on them. Pulse cannons has some really nice interactions with uh, with SAD, and it just that that combo is really good. Do the Valkyries need to be rare too? I think if when I did the testing, the Valkyries did actually improve with the higher quality, but there are some some of these pets um, that have pulse cannons that actually lose them with the higher ranks too. So that that can be something you need to look out for. Like when the uh, when the temporal operative scorpion fire squadrons recently came out, I went out and I got the ultra rare one without even looking at them. You know, that's that's quite a bit. That's 100k fleet credits and like the 40k deal, you know, per per bay of them. I went out, bought them, didn't even think about it. I look at them. I'm like, why is the performance just so bad? And guess what? The ultra rare ones lose the uh or they, they lose the pulse cannons or a plasma turret and dual plasma cannons, which don't perform as well as the pulse cannons. So that's just something you gotta keep an eye out for. Um there there's some pets that do actually get worse with the higher rarity, and you can spend more and end up with lower performance. Advanced engineering console phaser as cheap as 98.5 right now. Take a look. So if you're wanting to look up the phaser consoles, um, what you just have to search for is like phaser and brackets there under the engineering category. And you'll, you'll see them, the, the hangar craft version of the, the phaser consoles. Cheapest one right there is 45 mil right now. So you could grab a full set of those for what, like 400 million right now. You'd have to upgrade them, but you wouldn't have to re-engineer them. Um, for the, the plus power ones, I know the text is hard to read with me not having EC right now, but the, uh, the, the isomagnetic ones, the ones that give you the, the max weapon power, those are a little bit more expensive. Those have really high demand right now. Um, let me see if I can just, um, let me just search under Epic, see what those are going for. Like you said, Epic 98.5, quite a few up now for the isomagnetic. So you could buy seven of those for an inquiry for 700 mil. Now, also something I will talk about when I do the news video eventually um, is that they just recently discounted uh, with this, the start of the, the Titan being released, they've discounted the cost of promo packs permanently. And there's a sale on top of that. So you can get a four pack for 640 Zen. So six bucks, uh, 40 cents there. And you can sell that for 32.5 mil. So let's do the math here. For 640 Zen, you can get 32.5 times four. If so, six bucks, you basically get 130 mil EC. So if you're trying to, to get a set of these consoles and you don't want to, to grind for them, you could probably drop like 20 bucks in right now and get the EC to grab like a full set of them. Are the power ones a new meta? I think it's going to depend. Um, I think there's still a lot of testing to be done. Um, but as I was talking about a bit earlier in the stream before I did the, the pet testing, I have been seeing incredible results from my Delkina with a set of those plus weapon power consoles on. Does attack power and alpha apply to pets? No, attack power and alpha I should think should only apply to you. Yeah, there's definitely more testing that needs to happen. Um, the thing for me, the the reason I'm really liking these also, the, the plus weapon power ones for my plasma stuff, 
is because it actually boosts that complex plasma fire trait off of the uh, the Gorn Hunter. So I'm going to pop another SCM open quick. And if you just want to buy a bunch of these consoles real cheap, by the way, you can just craft them yourself. Um, if you get the fragments, you can turn the fragments into cores under the special projects tab. So if you can get five of the fragments, you can craft one of these consoles. So if I look up isomagnetic, which is the part for the um, for, for the plus weapon power console, if you buy four or if you buy five of those, which is going to cost you about looking at the market right now, that's going to be about 21, 22 million EC to get five of those. You can turn those five into a core and then go to the engineering tab, go to advanced engineering consoles and you can craft them, you know, right there if you have the, the stuff for it. I hate running out of components like that. I miss the old uh, the the old crafting keybinds. I'm still salty they uh, removed them. I can craft one of these consoles quick too to just show you. Um, here's a thing too: they give you an option to craft these consoles at Mark II or a higher Mark. If you crafted anything above Mark II, you're wasting resources. Just craft at Mark II, and you can use some catalysts if you want. It's not really going to change things too much. Well, that's some luck. I got another plasma one there. Um, but that's all you have to do is just, just craft them at Mark II. If you go above Mark II, I think you're wasting resources because the, the Mark II cost is dirt cheap. But if you craft at like Mark 12, look at all this other stuff you have to include. Like it'd be cheaper to just use, it's, it's like one Phoenix upgrade to take a console from, from two to, to like 12. Uh, you're just throwing money away if you crafted anything other than Mark II here. So I'm going to craft another one of these pet consoles. Reze, okay. So I'm going to get this. And when you get one of these consoles, like I was saying before, the first thing you should do is re-engineer it. Or pr protect it. Not re-engineer. Um, let me find over that one in my inventory. Yes, I have been making quite a few of these today. So once you have this in your inventory, right click on it and protect because they can be salvaged. You have to protect them or you could accidentally delete it. Now, there's as soon as you get one of these consoles, honestly, like I, I think getting the consoles is going to be a lot easier than people are worried about. But the issue is the, the cost of re-engineering. That that's where they get you. There's like 30 different modifiers here, and they're talking about expanding this list. And it's going to be really expensive. You know, if you want to, if you want like a disruptor modifier, you could be waiting a very long time. But like I was saying earlier in the stream, if you get one that has like a damage buff on it, Check the exchange and see if that, you know, is selling pretty well. Like I got a Tetria on one right here. That's selling for 30 mil, so I'm going to re-roll it. Resby, worthless. Polaron. Apparently it wants me to do a Polaron one, like a Polaron build with these, because it's giving me so many of them. But you get the point. Like, getting the consoles is not actually that difficult. It's re-engineering them to get the modifiers you want that is going to be extremely expensive. Okay, let me get caught up on chat because I've been getting sidetracked quite a bit here. Let's move this over. Let me take a drink here quick. Uh, Daniel, you can still use the, the Colony Tac consoles with, the, uh, with these new consoles. Sorry, I just saw your question there. Um, that's what I was doing on the, the Delkina. I go back to that. The, the Delkina here. I was running five of these new, uh, plus max weapon power consoles. Then I had three colony consoles on the Fekiri Torment engine because plasma build. The Lorca console for the crit chance. 
Um, and then I had emulating phaser lance on so that I could still use universal designs. And then I had the lure team command console on from the Gorn Hunter because that provides really good buffs for plasma. So you can still do colony. Some people are also doing the Bellum consoles from the discovery rep. If you're not curious, if you're not sure what those are, when you go into the discovery reputation, there's a store button at the bottom and the Bellum consoles, there's a cannon version and a beam version. It's a slightly lower damage buff, but you're still getting some crit chance at least. Uh, I've enjoyed the Delkinas ever since I got it. The Delkina, I think, is one of the best ships in the game, and um, it's not for everyone, but it has been an extremely versatile platform that I've been able to use numerous times over the, the past couple of years. It's been one of the, the better investments I've made ship-wise. Best rare hangar pets without sad? Probably the, 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 the mere shuttles. I mean, those are fine, but... How much did one console do again? Um, so just one of the, the pet consoles. Let me pull that back up. So the base number was. So it was 132 versus 117. So it was like a 15K boost. But the thing is to keep in mind, if you're running these new hangar pet consoles, you can't run them at the same time as Spire consoles. It's one or the other. So my recommendation is, is that if you are committing to running these hangar pet consoles or the max weapon power ones, that you full commit. You basically approach these things the same exact way that you would approach running the Spire attack consoles, where you, you know, you put them in every slot, do the same thing here. Use your attack consoles for universals if if you really want to keep your universals. Um, I would go for, for if you have sad, then aim for pets that have pulse cannons. If you don't, then it's up to you. There is coordinated assault also off one of the Dominion ships. I do not know how its performance is, though. The the so better tier list, I think, has um, some stuff up for uh, what pets are best under coordinated assault. Yeah, sad is a must have for carriers. Um, that that's pretty core for for carriers right now, and it is unfortunate that that is locked behind a super expensive bundle. Um, and hopefully, you know, they can give us some more ways to get that trade in the future. How good is that Tholian Warp Core? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know I haven't talked about that actually in like a video yet, and I'm somewhat glad that I haven't because they, uh, you know, they did change the, the Tholian set just with the recent patch here. So it's not as good, but I had one run that I want to look for here where I had an incredible amount from that. That's not it. One of these runs was just incredibly laggy. I think that was the laggy one. Yeah, so this was a run where I used that Tholian warp core on its own. Um, the Tholian warp core has been incredibly inconsistent. One run it might do 40k, another run it'll do almost 200 like it did here. So in this run, I had 148k from it there. And then if you look under player, there is the detonate aspect of it that did another 45k. So the Tholian warp core on its own can be quite potent, but it is incredibly inconsistent. Section on it just scrolled me down, so I may have missed a couple questions. If, if I missed something, feel free to, to repeat it. Will pets like saucer separation benefit from the new console? Yes, they talked about that on the stream. Um, but there's a max of 25 pets that can be boosted by these consoles. Nice night, nice. Yeah, I think they should, Robert. I, I would imagine that they should should count for that. 
Um, you're not going to find the Neo Constitution on the exchange. There's, they did reduce the cost of promo ships, but the issue is the reason, like promo ships are above 1.5. Uh, people have been selling the the Titan for 1.7 to 1.8 billion. Um, you're going to have to look in like a trade channel. There's a trade section on the builds Discord you can look at, um, where you can put in an offer. But I, I really don't know if it's going to go to 1.5 this time around. It's possible it might, but the issue is, is that Cryptic doesn't allow us to just directly sell the, the, the promo ship choice pack, which means that the supply is divided every time another ship is added to the pack, which just causes all of the ships to, to have lower demand or lower supply and then rise in price. So every time they add a new lockbox ship or promo ship, they just keep raising the price basically. Um, What do I think of the new pets from the legendary pack? The they're just reskinned versions of existing pets with uh, some some others like the some specialization integration added to them that take a little bit of a damage hit. They're they're okay, but um, I've not tried with frigate pets yet. I probably I probably am not going to get around to uh. To like testing like you know two bays of the, the romulan drone chips tonight if that's what you're hoping for i don't have that set up right now eric how's it going hoodwinked you cannot use these new consoles at the same time as the fleet spire consoles or the advanced science ones these new advanced consoles are profession specific and what that means um or, or they're they're, they're locked to each profession. Like you can't have a science one and an engineer and attack one at the same time. Um, you have to choose. Do you want to continue to run your Spire consoles? You can do that, but you can't use any of the new ones. If you want to run the, the science ones, you can't run the engineering ones or the, the attack ones. If you want to run the, the engineer ones, which is these, these plus pet ones, you can't run your Spires and you can't run the science ones. You have to choose. No, you're fine. Um, and like I said, I, I think with most of these, especially the hanger pet one, like if you're going all in on a hanger pet build, you full commit to seven of these things. And I would also recommend um, picking up the wing commander trade off the exchange. Yes, I do have three of them listed, but uh, that's not too heavy market manipulation. The, the point of Wing Commander is that it makes your pets rank up twice as fast. And when your pets rank up, the damage boost from these consoles also increases. Yeah, you can run seven of these on the, the D7. The, the D7 America Worker Flight Deck uh, carrier. You can run seven of them. So let me put them back on just to show that. Um, I say, I think it's going to be a little bit until everything is figured out in that regard. I mean, with seven of these consoles on, it basically doubled. Was It wasn't quite double, but it was like a 96% increase for the damage output of the, the, the Valkyrie fighters I was using. How that translates into to real play, I don't, you know, I can't say for sure, but... You keep these pets alive with like scramble fighters and you, you let them get up to rank five quickly. It's gonna be good. Um yeah, the 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 pet consoles have had quite a bit of an impact. If you wanna go down that carrier path, but you can't run these in side console slots. These these plus hanger consoles are um are again these are engineering consoles. Okay? They're engineering, so you cannot run these in side console slots or tack console slots. And when you're running these, you can't run your spire locators or exploiters, and you cannot use the advanced science consoles.
Uh, what was the other pet trait that buffs the first pet of each hanger? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, I tried that and it was like bugged it for bugged for a little bit. I haven't used it in a while. It's better for like if you're doing the the Romulan drone chips. Independent wingmate, but that that only buffs one pet. Does it say Universal Console? Is it probably because it the one I took a picture of was was in a Universal slot? Oh, I see. It. Yeah, it just says in the name Epic Ship Universal Console. I don't know that that that's we're dealing with cryptic typos here. Okay, just ignore that. Yeah, if you can go for a specific energy type, that's going to be, you know, a little bit better. Um, that then that's really what I would go for. I know, I can't believe there's a typo. Yeah, the, the Hydra trade is definitely pretty good for, for pets. Well, video on what it takes to do elite PFOs. Um, that's pretty broad and it, it varies. Like there's some elite PFOs that are like, they're not, not, they shouldn't be called elite, you know, some of them. Um, I don't know. I, I think doing like a, an elite capable build, you know, might be better to show, but. And I'm really glad I haven't done any uh, build videos in a while. Because th this stuff. Like I've done the build streams, to be clear, I've, I've done, you know, a couple build streams throughout the year, um, but build videos I've been terrible with. Does ETM interfere with any weapon extension traits? Um, well, ETM does give you a like fall one or CSV one, right? So that would limit you from running from, you know, using like a CSV three. Any vault or Herald Sphere elite runs today? I don't know. Um, would you say the my meta tort build still holds true? The meta tort build, that video, I do need to, at this point, go through, clarify the title. It's still, that is still a valid way to build a torpedo build, but it's no longer the meta approach. The, the Maelstrom torpedo has changed everything in that regard. The, the Maelstrom torpedo off of the legendary Akira, it's the most powerful torpedo in the game right now. You go look at some of the, the top Torp DPS runs that have been utilizing it. They've got like a million DPS just from that torpedo. Like, um, it, it th those builds are still perfectly viable. You can still run them and get through the content just as easily I did, as I did at that time. But the Maelstrom has shifted the meta over towards like five forward leaning ships. Um, so five forward weapons. So. Things like the Eagle, the Eagle, especially with the, the console it has, that is currently the top art platform. How does Withering Barrage interact with SAT? I don't know. My brain is sort of fried right now. Let's take a look. Let me, let me put a pet out. This will be easy enough to show. Withering Barrage, well, Withering Barrage was on this entire time and it didn't, didn't have any interaction. So there you can see no interaction with uh, SAD. I don't think they're going to nerf Maelstrom. I think they're going to leave it alone. Um, Gemini, this is going to entirely depend on, you know, what your, your build is.
you know, there are some builds that are still going to be, you know, you would still build them the same way you did before. Like, if you're still running, if you're going to just continue rocking Inspire consoles, then nothing's changed for you. And that's still perfectly viable, to be clear. Running a full set of Spire attack consoles, still perfectly fine to do. However, if you're on a ship where you want to run you know, some of these other consoles, then you may want to, to change things up. It's entirely up to you. And it, it does change, you know, what, what ships people might look at. Um, the inquiry definitely is, has gotten a nice boost out of this. Uh, the Bozeman or the, the fleet Soyuz, I think it is that, that, that ship should be really good with these new, uh, plus max weapon power consoles. Um, and clearly the D seven, like I was showing on triple there, you know, clearly if you have the, the disco miracle worker flight deck carrier, the, the, the Connie one or the D seven one, you know, clearly, you know, if you're going and fully committing to just seven of these consoles, you're going to be boosting your pets quite significantly. Now, there was a question earlier about whether or not these consoles boost uh, summonable pets like the Cardassian Torp platform, and I am going to see that quick, just to see. And the consoles are indeed boosting that comp at that mobile torpedo platform. So I don't know what the damage performance on that thing is like, but if you want to boost it up, it does seem to, to get boosted here, so... That is nice. Doing any? Yeah, I don't have the 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 hangar bay stuff set up on live, but if if you want me to show people the Delkina, I can bring that in. Um, or if you use if you use ETM to get CSV for yourself. I think I was just, I was thinking of the wrong thing there. I, for some reason, I thought you were talking about sad. I'm, my brain is fried today. I'm sorry. Let me slot ETM. It's been a long day, long week. You guys know how it is. Let me, let me put a uh, torp spread on real quick. Just uh, to show. So the CSV that you get from ETM, if you have withering barrage on, does indeed get that extended uh, duration. Yes to the Dalkino, okay. Let's close Tribble out. Megla. All the plasma. I have been getting incredible results from this stuff. Um, I had a run yesterday. I think Megla was in there. Michael, you remember the run where I had like 140, 140k um, from the experimental weapon? I had a run too where I almost had 200k off the trait. Plasma OP. Axel, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Yeah, the 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 meta OP plasma stuff. I I mean I've said it. I think plasma plasma is legitimately competitive with the the stuff from the the Gorn Hunter on it. In longer duration fights, S dummy, thank you so much for the five bucks. Very much appreciate it. If you are in a situation where your targets live more than a couple seconds, you know, they don't die right away with like a, a disruptor or phaser build, then plasma is doing pretty well right now. They did fix the interaction between complex plasma fire and the uh, fire at will. But I really am liking this. And what's really nice with these plus weapon power consoles is that complex plasma fires scales up with weapon power. So 
it's been been pretty nice. Like if I lower my weapon power, you see the number on that trait starts falling. Now if I do the the correct thing here and crank that weapon power all the way up, and dump the rest into engines, then it goes way up. It's a very loud slam. I think the wind caught the door or something. Um, okay. Does anyone here have a flagship tank that has the, the haste console on? I mean, Tetrion did just get some, some nice buffs, but then they... I don't know if you guys saw this. They, they did go through and change the crit chance and severity values around on the two-piece. We like I think there were some comments that they they you know might do that, but they they did actually go through and do that with this recent patch. Am I liking the new advanced consoles there? Yeah, yeah, Kalijah, they've been great. They've been wonderful so far. Yeah, they swapped the values around. So the the crit chance was nine point something percent and now it's uh they swapped it. Like the crit chance was nine percent and the severity was three percent, and it was meant to be the other way. Who wants to join for this ISC? I'm gonna be running some of the I know it's not the hangar stuff. Did that over on Tribble. I don't have the D7 set up over here yet, but I do plan to get that set up in the next uh, couple of days. But I've got this set up right now, and I can show you guys how the Delkeen is doing. Osiris, you want in, and Ice Knight, I think, was the uh, the next one there. I'm sorry, Voyager. Oh, you're not in game. I am like completely just brain fart right now trying to uh, remember at handles. Ice Knight, yours is Ice Knight, right? I didn't really can't remember right now. Would I bother with sad? Well, the thing with sad is too, you have to keep in mind that sad, um, that sad is also a debuff. So sad is a minus 30 debuff. And that's quite impactful. Kalijah, thank you for the 10 gifted. Very much appreciated. Hi, Snight. Let me find you here. So I think there are times where you would use sad still even on like a one bay ship. Um, I just signed to my blind. Are you invisible right now or hidden? Um, I don't mess with anti proton since I don't have 10 billion on any of my tunes. Yeah. Shouldn't be. Can you put like a Z up in just one of the like elites or prime? Again, Kalijah, thank you so much. AP, AP, uh, I mean, I still think, oh, there you are. I'm, I'm literally blind. It's that type of day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is everyone good to go?
I forgot the underscore. Megla, you ready? Thank you. Okay, okay, everyone's good. Here we go. It's like 10, 10 p.m. and I feel like I need a cup of coffee. Um, so on the topic of that car, I was going through, I, I don't have insurance on it yet. Um, and I go through, I'm filling out, like to get a quote, State Farm, which is what I currently have for insurance. I can't just like add it to the plan for whatever reason. I probably have to call in. Um, but I'm going through, we're just looking at some competition, you know, some of the other options out there. I type in my driver's license number and it's like, we're sorry, you're going to have higher fees because you were in a car accident two years ago. I'm sitting here like I was in a car accident. Okay. News to me. Gotta fly the ship. to be no that tractor beam screwing me up a little bit piloting is bad that tractor beam just really screwed that up oh well Loose sphere. Okay, not the best run. Not the best run. My piloting was pretty bad right there. Um. Yeah, piloting a bit rough. Not the best showing, but let's see the, the results here. That's shrivel. Let's five. Thank you all for the run. Oh, I'm sorry, Chili. Um. Random suggested stream, and the first thing I hear is about having 10 bill. Yeah, um, the, there's there's a few different ways to grind DC, and there's there's some some ways to buy it right now that they're a bit more efficient than your traditional offerings like these promo packs. Yeah, I don't know. How safe? I don't know. Voyager, I'm sorry. Literally going to have to add a new new row to the member list. I know. Kalija, Nick, again, thank you both for the uh, gifted subs today. Master Dude, how's it going? Speed is key. I mean, that's one of the, the core things with DPS. Um, and one of the reasons you see so many DPS builds using the competitive rep engines um, these give you basically an evasive maneuvers every time you hit a firing mode. So every time you hit your beam overload, it's like you're getting an evasive maneuvers. And then you see almost every DPS build also use the emergency comm hologram. This is from the Phoenix store. And every time you hit emergency powered engines, it's going to reset your evasive maneuvers down to no cooldown. Borg tractor beam new meta. <sighs> Terrible. Yeah, CSV on the Delkina with plasma. I'm I'm really really enjoying plasma right now with the uh, components from the the Gorn Hunter. It's been really effective. 
honestly, like I've, I've said this a few times, but I do legitimately believe Plasma is quite competitive right now in elite content. Okay. Complex Plasma Fire and the Experimental Weapon both did about 100k on the Delkina. Um, I apparently got 43k from the Digitizer Probes. And the, the Warp Core, 31k there, plus another 5k there. So the, the, the Tholian Warp Core is incredibly inconsistent. Like I showed earlier, I had a run with it doing 200k. And then the next run, it might do... You know, like 40. Is Plasma my new favorite energy type? Yeah, absolutely. I I think that this experimental weapon off of the Gorn, which does Plasma stuff, is probably the highest performing experimental weapon in the game right now. Now, I don't have any hard numbers to, to you know, to back that up, just to be clear. But I have never gotten 140k DPS out of any other experimental weapon before. I have not seen such consistent performance from other experimental weapons before. Yeah, the Gorn Hunter is from Strange New Worlds. Hyper, um, if you're brand new, Check out the, the builds discord or STO better has a really good beginner's guide. If you're looking to just get a deep, you know, like a beginner's feel for, for everything still better has a really good guide. And I'd recommend um, taking a look there if you're overwhelmed by, by this stuff here. That's that's uh ice knight. That is the maelstrom. The maelstrom torpedo is if this game was competitive, the Maelstrom would absolutely be considered a pay to win item. It is hands down like the, the best torp to use right now. If you're just using a single torp. Um, that'll be a while. Uh, we don't know. You know, I mean, the ship just came out like a month or two ago. So the, the Gorn, the, the Gorn Hunter Pilot Raider is not going to be in a MUDS bundle for years, most likely. Really still would love to see that build in an organized environment. Yeah, we did a one five last night and I did show or I did put the VOD up. I don't know if you watch that Megla. Let me take a look. I have messages on Discord. Uh, Royal Blue, if you're listening, I have no idea. And I've got, man, ever since the, the Discord name change stuff, I've been noticing an increase in spam emails. I've had to block two just today. Yeah, I did screw up in that run, though. And that it's, it's an issue I just overall need to address myself. I have my fire all weapons keybind on a key that I am hitting way too much. And that is hurting my uh, my DPS performance. So this was one and a half mil in the uh, the Delkina last night. I'll probably be trying um, the the like that was like a four mil opening. Let me back that up a little bit. Do I have onboard debuffing or I don't have um. I don't have too much. I probably just like attack power and beta. I was doing that Megla, but the issue is, is that I now spam the, the key to fire my weapons. So that was a four and a half mil opening right there. Le left it at four and then I moved slow off the, the side. There's, there's that's the EPS loss. Like this this was a clean run, and the, the Viridian Plasma looks really good. That's those red shots you see coming from my ship. That Viridian Plasma, legitimately, I, I like how it looks. I normally look, just don't care about how the weapons look when they fire, but uh, those look good. Left the left side at 2 mil. I still have the Immolating Phaser Lance on for Universal Designs. 
there's a little bit of stutter right there. That's just STL server lag. Pretty hard to get a run that's like fully clean without any lag at all. The STO servers are not good. My transitions from the different parts of the map definitely wasn't great. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I think that I could, in a coordinated environment, I, I think I could get the Delkina up to... I, I don't see why, like, 1.7, 1.8 wouldn't be doable. Another mistake I made here is I should have probably just left CSV on. I did try to do, um, was it Singularity Overcharge or whatever, just to hit the tack cube here, but there was still a sphere alive, so. One thing, too, with complex plasma fire is that the tack cubes have, like, hazard emitters on, and they will remove a lot of the stacks. So, something to keep an eye out for. STO lagging? I know. That would never happen. Uh, Voyager, I see you've sent me some messages. Uh, Voyager, I personally, I am not interested in buying, uh, um, buying any, any more of these consoles. Uh, the, the red crystals that you saw were probably from the warp core. I was running the crystalline or the, the Tholian warp core from the recent event. And when you kill targets, it spawns in some um, little warp crystals and they can blow up like mines and that, you know, damage the nearby foes or they can give allies shield deals. That's probably what you saw there. I, I don't think that it's worth the Tholian Singularity Core because uh, let me take a picture of it here. I can just show what I'm talking about. For this part right here. Basically, upon defeating an enemy, it will spawn in one to two of the Tholian Warp Crystals. That will then deal damage. So that is why I am running that core, because that, especially with like a CSV build where you typically get a lot of the kills, it can do pretty well. I've had pretty good success with it. I had, it, it's not the most consistent. I'll, you know, to be perfectly clear, I, I it has been fairly inconsistent. Like one run, it'll do 40K, the next run do 100, then it'll do like 150. It, it's very much inconsistent lb team to stop playing around with cartoon dwarves for a night i'm liking the uh the, the new warp core but I, it's the only part of the set i'm using right now if i was on tetrion i might run the the two or three piece but um with me being on plasma i just don't see a need to, to run the other components are cannon still the best energy weapon dps wise absolutely um Cannons are still the best route for you to go if you want to get maximum DPS out of energy weapons. The Disco Core is still providing you with survivability. And I would only really recommend the Tholian Warp Core if you are actually you know the in in the content that you play with your build are you the one getting the kills if you're on a science build or another another aoe heavy build the only warp core is probably going to do well but if you're on single target beam overload probably not going to do too much for you hybrid tetrion radiation build Thoughts on flying the Jupiter carrier on stream someday? You guys hate me, don't you? <laughs> Is that a Breaking Bad build? <laughs> a plasma all over and, and warp crystals, yeah. The Tucker? Oh no. I hated those Miracle Worker ships so much. 
Uh, Ethan, I would go with Torps Red on the Maelstrom. Um, the the Maelstrom just hits really hard under Torps Red. Yeah, and um, I'm seeing some discussion again about promo packs here. Um, just a reminder, they they did lower the cost of promo packs recently, and there's a sale on top of that. So if you have been looking for what is the best way to get EC right now, that's probably promo packs. Um, I, I've got a spreadsheet here. Let me find it. I have way too much stuff in my Google Drive. That's what I'm getting from, from this right now. Wrong button. Okay, so right now, promo packs. Cheapest ones are about 34 mil. Like, realistically, you're looking here. I'm just going to say that all of them are 34 mil right now. Okay. Keys are currently at like 11, 11, 2, I think I saw earlier. Just go like that. But for the rest of these, they're they're basically 34 mil. I think the deltas are probably a little bit higher. That's normal. Let's change three, four, zero. Also, these R and D Infinity promo packs drop the parts for these new consoles like mad. Um, so if you're not wanting to to play elite TFOs, you can get a ton of these new components just by opening the R and D packs. Like, if I'm already at a thousand of the battery ones, those do drop quite a bit from Elite TFOs also. Um, but a lot of these components drop from from the uh, the R&D R &D Infinity Packs. R&D boxes haven't really went down, though. That's the thing. So the, the new base cost is 250 or all of these so let me let me just add the same for all those and then so they made promo packs cheaper and right now we have a 20 percent sale going on so what that means is that for 640 zen you can buy an r d four pack so you're going to forward those infinity promotions and that's going to get you 136 mil or right around there with the current market. And if you're looking to get a promo ship, the, the sales that we have right now are 20% off, which means that you can get 1.5 billion EC and get any ship that is posted on the exchange for 77 bucks. So 77 bucks is going to get you 1.5, but a lot of these Titans, you know, if you want a Titan, those have been going for like 1.7 or 1.8. Well, for, for just over 80 bucks with the current sale, you can go and get uh, 13 of these R&D four packs, sell those on the exchange or just directly trade it. And you could probably get your Titan for like 80 bucks. So just keep that in mind if you have been, you know, wanting the Titan or any of these other promo ships. If you want that Disco D7 Miracle Worker flight deck carrier that I was showing um, over on the triple testing, that's going to be about 80 bucks with the sale. Terrible Voyager. Okay, where did my YouTube chat go? 
it's right here in front of me. <laughs> yeah, the the three piece Cisco mycelial lightning. If you're doing normal or advanced content, that's pretty much a must have for your CSV. Um, but in elite content, I think the Tholian warp core probably is going to win out because the the three piece lightning doesn't do that much in elite. It basically one shots things in normal or advanced though. Yeah, I mean the the advanced batteries, why not use them? You know, but they're so easily obtainable. Every TFO you do drops a couple of the battery components. So like, if I go open the the box from from that ISE, I just got two of the the battery components there. So that's ten batteries that I can get. I didn't use ten batteries in in that ISE, so. You know, if it's there, then why not use it? Yeah, P cubed. I did some testing on the the new consoles. Um, basically, if you run seven of them on the the Disco D seven America Worker Flight Deck Carrier, uh, what I saw on Tribble testing against static targets that did not kill my pets is that I saw almost double the damage performance from the pets. Yeah, the Freedom, I mean, I, I I had an opportunity to get it. I just wasn't interested at the time, but I, I sort of wish I had. I really want them to do a rerun on the Inquiry. I, uh, you know, SOB has the Inquiry, has the Bottle War Juggernaut and all that, but I've been using Casual as my main now for, for a little bit, and I just, I feel like I'm going to end up using my event campaign box on either the Inquiry or the Vaudevoir Juggernaut. I would ideally like them to just rerun the Inquiry in the Lobby store, but who knows if they'll do that. So I'll probably just grab the Vaudevoir Juggernaut um, because that's, you know, I'm not going to ever buy the Muds bundle for it. Um, so I'll probably just get it for this character just to have it. And then the Inquiry, if they ever do a Lobby rerun, I'll get it on casual. Or maybe I'll just dump a bunch of the, the consoles over on SOB. Yeah, everyone seems to have the Titan. It's crazy. It definitely, like, it, for it being a bad ship, you know, like I said, Cryptic will sell these hero ships no matter what the stats are. But the the ships that look like garbage, that's why they have good stats. Can you get the Atlas from the event campaign token? Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to be labeled as like TOS Dreadnought. And then the... Because the box that has the the Atlas in it has three sh different ships in it. So you need to, to pick like the TOS Dreadnought box and then you should be able to pick the Atlas. I mean... <sighs> That's going to, it's hard to say God of Rage, but the thing is that's really important about these consoles is that you can still get a damage buff on them. You're not, you're, what you're basically doing is you're giving up the crit chance that you would have gotten from your Aspire console. So you're giving up that crit chance to get the pet buffs. You can still get that plus 39.4% cat one for whatever damage type you're using. Charlie has a gun. Uh, the Shrike will most certainly be a lockbox ship. I think we'll probably have it. I could see the Shrike being the, the uh, like the September, the the uh, probably August September uh, lockbox ship when the new season drops. Uh the 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 summer ship. I don't know what to say about the summer ship. It's not what I thought. I don't know how to feel about it. Is the phaser narrow something only dropped from the Titan A? Yeah. Yeah. Cannot fly that jug out of the pack. Uh, yeah. It's not for everyone, that's for sure.
David, I have no idea what you're talking about. How uh, the legendary inquiry? That'd be nice. No, they have not announced the summer ship. It's just people making predictions. You know, personally, I predict that the uh, the the summer event ship is going to be a ship from uh, the Star Trek franchise. Let's see. <laughs> Nadarian 2.0. No. Please, no. Uh, Daedalus from Stargate? Where's Bridger at? That that ought to be enough to just, like, wake Bridger up. I don't know if you guys uh, have been following Bridger's progress, but Bridger's been working on, like, a really nice 3D model of the Daedalus. Let me see if I can find it. So that's going to be on UFP. Yeah, there's like nine pages of this. Let me find this. Yeah, here we go. So Bridger's been working on like building the the day list, getting like a really detailed model, and he's going to like 3D print it. And like the detail has just been great. Yeah. Stargate is such a, a great franchise. I really wish that more had been done with it. I, I'm still salty, you know, that Universe was canceled. I mean, it. I mean, the first season sucked, but the, uh, the second season really started to get interesting. I mean, and like the halfway through the first season, too, was good, right? And while I don't really remember. Yeah, I know Amazon, you know, it's um, been on and off of, you know, are they going to do something? Are they not? And who knows? Now, Voyager, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have an answer to that question. Grew up in house that SGU didn't exist. Oof. Voyager. I'm sorry. I, I I don't know. California is seven advanced engineering, three tact, four four. Yeah, I mean, maybe someone will make the California, you know, finally a good ship. I hope so, Chili. That would be really cool. How would we how would they build it out though? Like the issue is if they give up the the miracle worker, that you know that that's one of the big things that makes the the inquiry what it is, that miracle worker intel combo. If they do an a legendary version, you know, what are they gonna do? You know, what are they gonna swap that to? No, I don't remember Voyager. Did I gamble with the boxes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me find it. It was not my proudest moment, I'll tell you that. I do not know what is on any video, and I don't feel like having some random audio play that like gets this entire thing demonetized. So let me see here. That is a DPS room. That is another DPS room. <laughs> Apparently, I've done a lot of inquiry or Elkina runs. 
I could have sworn that I recorded the gambling. Yes, I did. Okay, here we go. Display cap. So when you open the R&D boxes, the, the Infinity R&D boxes, it gives you um, the, some of these new components. And it has a chance to just give you a core. So I opened like 40. I, I sold a, a Titan to, to Martin and I used the, the packs from that just to, to gamble, of course. And um, did not have much luck there. But as you can see, just with me opening you know that amount like i was getting quite a few components for to, to build several of the consoles like realistically out of the 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 stuff that i got from the r d boxes that i opened from like the, the 50 in total i got enough materials to have built basically like an entire set of each console inquiry needs a remaster yeah like uh, Chili was saying, you know, give it that updated uh, skin. I'm just glad I, I've got, you know, I've got a full copy of uh, of everything. So. I was was sad recently. There was a a certain website that that shut down. It it, it was uh, really unfortunate that they shut down, but I got a lot of things from them. So kinetic cutting weapon that isn't the the cutting beam. Yeah, just add a second commander to the legendary inquiry. That's a good good call. Do double miracle worker. Do dual commander miracle worker so you get two extra consoles. I know, I know. I already have alternatives. <laughs> I like that you you know exactly what I'm talking about. What's the verdict on the pet console? They're good. With the, the Valkyries, like seven of them doubled the the, the damage from them. Albeit that was in a, again, stationary targets that aren't shooting back. So if your pets die, you, you may not get as much out of it. Can't wait for the next galaxy with pilot. Oh no. Yeah, we were, that there's alternative options for what test dummies talking about. There and and there's also test dummy. There's there's also over on Data Hoarder and a couple other nice subreddits on Reddit. Uh, while that's still around, um, there's there, there's been some very nice stumps with all of the the, the former links. Both Rampart Invincible Pets. Yeah, they won't do T seven ships and. I, I think a lot of people that talk about T7 weren't around for what happened when they did the T5 to T6 uh, ship transition. When Delta Rising hit, that was one of the contributing factors to this game, losing so many players. Um, people that had invested heavily in T5s, well, some people were fine, you know, going again the T6s, or they, they realized that they could still do the content with their T5s. But... There were some people so upset at the idea that their invest, you know, that their their purchases were now devalued. Uh, that that was one of the contributing factors to to make them, you know, step away from the game. The World Razor is really incredible. That's a good call. Good call. I've got the uh, the Voth Rampart on this character too. Will we see level 70? I think level 70 is much more likely to happen than T7 ever will. Um, level 70, I think, is so something that's only a matter of time, to be honest. Um, level 70 would increase the 
the HP count of enemies and would make content a little bit harder. And it would also give Cryptic an incentive to release Smart 16 gear, which is already something that they have, as far as I am aware, uh, worked on already. I believe it was talked about when they did Mark 15 that they did Mark 16 and that it just would like need to be turned on or whatever. So it's probably more complicated than that, but yeah. Is the World Razor trait okay for a tank? The World Razor trait, um, a cultural conquest, that trait is best on ships where you can fit a ton of firing modes. Double Merrick Worker. Yeah, imagine if one's a commander. So it's still an engineering ship. Okay, so it's got a commander, engineer with Merrick Worker, and then it's got a commander universal. You give up your OSS. Or we'll, don't even have to do that. Could just have like a, an ensign or lieutenant intel. I mean, they're, they've done that with other ships already. So is haste a console mod yet? No. Um, have I, or how are the, the max weapon power consoles? I'm enjoying them. I think that they're really good. Um, the fact is that there's been a lot of complaints on Reddit of, that I was seeing the other day where people were not happy about them because they didn't it seems like people don't realize that they can get the the modifiers that your spire consoles had so if you want one that boost phaser guess what there is one that boost phaser like, look at this i'll zoom in on it for people so if you're on an engineering heavy ship and you want to use these new consoles guess what you can get them with a phaser modifier Make sure it says fully phaser. If you just get one that says PHA like that, then that's the phaser resistance. You want the full phaser in the, the, the brackets there. But that is going to give you the same damage buff that you would have got from your Spire attack consoles. You're trading the crit chance or severity that the Spire consoles have for max weapon power. Uh, what what is my crit chance spend in the runs we've been doing? Let me take a look here. It's in nineties. I mean, ninety two, ninety five. So even with me not having spire consoles on, I mean, I have all the the crit chance stuff on this character. My endeavors are done. So I already had really high crit chance. I was running exploiters because I was already crit capped. I was already at 100% crit chance, basically. So 95, 96. You know, there's there's no need for, for me to, to worry about losing the crit chance when I'm already at the crit chance cap, basically. Um, so you're, you're trading the crit chance or severity for plus max weapon power or, or, or yeah, plus max weapon power and, uh, you know, plus weapon power in general. And you still get to retain the full damage boost that your Spire attack consoles have. <sighs> Star Master, terrible. Yeah, so there's, like, if you... Like, I, I think there's still going to be plenty of applications where you still want to use your Spire attack consoles. They're not garbage. They're still good. You, if you have them, you can still use them. The, your build works as well as it did before the update. But if you're looking for an a alternative way to build your ship, especially an engineering heavy one or a science heavy one, you have alternative options. And in your attack consoles, you can still run Lorca, the Fakiri Torment Engine, the Fleet Colony TAC consoles. Like, the, you can still run TAC consoles in your TAC console slots. You just can't run the Spire ones alongside these new engineering ones. Have I completed all of the Endeavor perks? No, not entirely, but I have completed the important ones. So if I look at the space side of things, everything that really matters in space, I basically have done. The only things I don't have done are drain resistance, control resistance, and damage resistance alpha. So I I, I have all of the crit chance stuff, all the damage boost. You know, that 
I have all the important things done. Have I tried the old school attack consoles or Bellum? Um, I have not yet. I've just, I, I already had the colony consoles on and I figured the projectile damage buff is also buffing the maelstrom up a little bit. So, you know, dual purpose, well, triple purpose, because it's, you know, it's also buffing the, the maelstrom and it's giving me a little bit of a heal. So the parliament is finally good. You can't tell Triz. You, you, you can't tell him. I can't. I don't know if I can handle Triz knowing that he can get more out of the parliament. Let's take a look at the. Uh, California. Yeah, nobody can tell Triz. No, nobody, nobody tell Triz. Nobody tell him uh, that the that the Californian Parliament are basically as good as the Titan right now. I mean, you don't have the pilot secondary seat, but it's not that far off. Yeah, it's, he knows. He knows we're talking about it. He's probably listening right now. I've had, I've been taught, you know, I've talked to Triz plenty of times off stream and he'll be like, yeah, I was lurking. Here's a clip. You know, I got a sound clip from your stream and it's like, what the hell, dude? Triz is always watching. Exactly. That is the truth. I'm going to I'm going to look at my I'm going to look at my camera and I'm just going to see at the like bottom of the stairs it's going to be Triz one day. He's he's everywhere. <laughs> Lower decks and meta. But yeah, um you know, really getting to the point of all this, these new advanced engineering consoles are good. The, the hangar pet ones if you can keep your pets alive and you can run multiple of these things, that's, that's a pretty big buff for, for your pets as, as those, uh, tests earlier showed. Now, I don't know if that's going to work as well for every single pet out there. I don't have all of them to test. And if you want to test before committing, utilize the triple test server, copy your character over and do a before and after comparison and see how much of a boost your pets have. You know, do a parse before without the consoles with your build as is, and then copy a bunch of the consoles over. Move your build over to that new setup with those consoles and try it out. See if it, you know, does anything for you. But that's going to be my recommendation when I get a video done for this stuff is, you know, test it on Tribble. Test on Tribble before you, you know, fully commit. Yeah, the SG1 had a lot of really good episodes. Let's see, what's what's the price of these uh consoles at right now? What are the the phaser ones are the big ones, right? Those those are what everyone's going for right now. Cheapest phaser is 60 mil for the hanger pet one. The the max weapon power one is down to 75 mil. They're a bit expensive. Um but again, you can literally, like I, I was talking about this earlier, you can buy the cheapest ones on the market. You can buy these ones here that are 25 million EC, okay? You can buy these and you can re-engineer them. You don't want to have... Let me find one that has a modifier. I, it, let's say you get one with like quantum on it. You don't want quantum. As soon as you get it, you make sure you protect it and then you re-engineer it. Yeah, all the damages are here. Like, I mean, let me take a pic of this so I can show. Yeah. Like, there are a ton of potential modifiers that you can get on this. 
you can get your disruptor damage, you can get your phaser damage, you can get plasma, plasma torp. All of the all of the modifiers that your spire attack consoles had, you can get here. You can also get all of the engineering ones and Cryptic apparently is going to make it so that all of the science modifiers are available on the engineering consoles, the, the advanced ones, that is. And all of the engineering modifiers will be available on the advanced science consoles, which means that this potential power list is going to grow. So when we look at this next week, instead of being like this, it is now going to be like this. And things are going to be even more expensive to reroll. I don't know when it's going to happen, but this is a dilithium sink for cryptic and an EC sink because you have to buy or farm salvage. Um, but I, I have I had a console the other day. I spent like 60k, 60k dilithium on it plus salvage, and that's what it took for me to get the modifier I wanted on it. Can they make a science version of the pet console for us regular carrier pacifist? <laughs> I, I mean, that would be nice. I just don't know if they will. Yeah, let me let me move some dill over. Let's let's try to reroll this console. I want to see. We're going to reroll these two consoles until I get a modifier that is satisfactory. So I'm going to send them over to a different character. Let me move the dilithium over. See, this is good. I'm I'm getting dual use out of this. I can go use some of this footage for when I actually get a video done. Don't have to think about losing your deal to reroll. Yeah. They already did, Master Dude. Or oh, with the Psy Inge prox? I don't know. I think they talked about that, but right now, yeah, for, for anyone that missed it, your science consoles or your science, your spire consoles can be re-rolled now. So did you buy too many phaser ones? Well, guess what? Now you can re-roll. I should mention also on the topic of uh, getting these things, for any of you that are looking to trade these consoles, let's say you crafted some disruptor ones and you wanted plasma, well, we have a channel in the builds discord under the trading category called advanced console trade. So you can list what you're looking for or what you're trying to sell. So if you are, if you crafted too many of the wrong ones, you can potentially try to trade or just, you know, try to find someone that has a large amount of the specific ones you're wanting and maybe work out a bulk order discount or something. Yeah, I accidentally bought two sets of Phaser uh, Spire Exploiters. That was uh, an expensive mistake for sure. That is on the Star Trek Online Builds Discord, which should be linked in the uh, description right below this video. It should be. We look. Yeah, so it should be first link in the description, builds Discord. Hit that and go to the trading category and you should uh, be able to uh, see that console trading stuff. And no problem. How much salvage does this character have? 10K. Okay, let's see. Can I burn through 10K? Most certainly. These consoles have not been nice to me. And again, make sure to protect them because these things can be salvaged and you will not get the uh, the, the parts back to, to make more of them. Megla, there's Tetrion. Unfortunately, Tetrion uh, is still not widely respected. So this one here, if you see this PHA, that is phaser resistance. That is not phaser damage. Make sure to just keep that in mind if you're going for phaser. Plasma? I'm keeping that. 
cannons. Honestly, both of those probably will sell, so I might just call those ones there. Like, what? what is the plasma going for right now? About 60. So I'm going to put that plasma one up for... Let's do 50 all the day. There you go. And for this other one, I got cannons. Let's see what those are going for. Cheapest is 75 million. Like you may find that you get ones with modifiers you don't exactly want, but the market is so fresh and there's so much varied demand from people all wanting to do their own unique thing. Like you may get, as soon as you land on a plus damaged console for an energy weapon type, I'd probably take a look at the market and see if it's maybe worth just posting it and trying for another console. The pets do not benefit from the damage type on the consoles. Correct. As far as I'm aware, they, they do not. <laughs> Egla. Yeah, I think Phaser, Disruptor, Plasma are probably going to be the best sellers. Especially, well, I don't think Plasma really will that much. Like, Plasma, I, I'm really a big fan of Plasma right now. Like I've said, I, I think Plasma legitimately is probably the best weapon type for, for me to use right now, given the, the, the stuff that I like to play. Uh, but for general use, Phaser, Disruptor is still king. Phaser by a mile, Disruptor, for, for those of you who've been maxing normal or advanced content, you know, Disruptor with Spiraway is pretty, pretty good. But for Plasma, that's that's a really niche elite thing. I already do miss yesterday exchange wise. Yeah, that's going to crash. I mean, that, that's how a new market always is in this game. Like there's going to be a lot of things flooding in and. Things will crash. What is the highest weapon power at now? Well, on that Delkina build, um, just with that, I can get over 200 briefly with OSS. How can you get the coils for the engineering ones? So if you go to your R&D window, you go to special projects. If you get five of the components, uh, the, the isomagnetic plasma pieces, if you get five of those, you can combine those to make a uh, one of the cores. And then you can use that to, to make the console. It has the same cost as a normal engineering console, just that with that one extra thing. And you can craft them right off the bat. Now, you should only craft these at Mark II. Um, crafting them above Mark II is just wasting resources. So go for Mark II only. That is literally the cheapest option. That is the best option because it, it's super cheap to upgrade a console from Mark II to like Mark Mark 15. You're, you're talking, what, like five Phoenix upgrades? That That is much cheaper than what the other components cost to just craft it right off the bat at Mark 12. You're spending long, overall, you're, you're spending so much less just going to Mark II. And um, I know Megla was wanting to see how high stuff could get with uh, like the, the engineer EPS ability on me. And I did try to turn that on at the start of that TFO we did. Let me see, did I? Yeah, it stacks, it, it fully stacks. It stacks with all other sources of less weapon power. Oh, you know what? I was blocking it. Oh, rip. I blocked it, Megla. I'm sorry. I tried to change it. Here, Megla, could you uh, meet me above, like, uh, just meet me above New Rom with your engineer or something? We could just test it right there. With me looking at the number.
you guys are like I, I see all these comments about where webcam. You even left one. Ghost go JFK. So Nick's been bugging me saying, Spencer, you gotta turn the webcam back on. I'm sorry, I missed I missed something. Only watch when webcam is on. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Mark II also means it's cheaper than Epic. Yeah, absolutely. You could use, if you really wanted, you could use a superior experimental or like an Omega upgrade and get it real cheap. But even then, like, if you have to Epic it at Mark 15, it's like 10, 15 Phoenix upgrades. It's not that bad. Osiris, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Terrible. You want to do another ISA run or ISE, Megla? You could just we could just look at it in in space here if you want it. Don't have to do another run. Okay, people. <laughs> ISE apparently. I am going to move the power levels over here. Bottom, like right there, so people can see it. And let's let's increase the UI scale just a smidge so that it's a little bit easier to see because I know the the UI can be a bit small sometimes. You, okay, so the reason that infected is the only queue that we've done on the stream so far today is because. I've read comments, you know, in fact, it is the only content in the game that I understand how to play and I have to respect, you know, that people are calling me out and exposing the truth. Um... Hold on, Chili, did you, you will mention before you wanted in on one of these, right? Are you still around? SFC, I missed your comment before. That's, that's interesting. There's been so much chat. I like my brain has just been fried the past couple days. So I have missed, I've missed some of the chat going on and I do apologize if anyone said anything and I missed it. I don't think Chili's here now. Voyager. Voyager, don't take this the wrong way. But I'm gonna I am gonna grab someone else or just just to diversify it. We'll get you on the next one, Voyager. That's true. Hive Onslaught Elite, exactly. <laughs> now, I I do... I'm thinking, um, and I talked about this, you guys probably saw it. I had like a little fundraiser thing on the stream the other day. I just took it off um, for, for right now. But I'm probably going to go down to Kansas City here in the next uh, next couple of months. I don't know when exactly. Um, but Rebecca, what's your ad handle again? I, like I said earlier, my brain is fried, but I'm probably going to go to like Kansas city or something at some point this summer. And I'm thinking if I do, I might go to micro center and grab one of them bundles they got. Um, I'm currently on a 5,900 X. So like my processor is good enough. <laughs> you know, my processor is perfectly fine, but, um, I know that the resale value of what I have right now. I, I could get an upgrade to like the next gen stuff with not that much cost. And if I'm already going to Kansas City, it, it's something that I'm very much considering. How many weapon power consoles am I running? Five. I'm running five. Rebecca, where? Oh, 
Becca, what's your ad handle again? I'm sorry. I, I'm... Uh, Judah will get you in on the next one. Bruno, how's it going? I'm going to say Rebecca and my sister is going to be like, but my sister's here right now for, for the night. Come on, Saab, get it together. I, it, it has been that day. <laughs> Okay, everyone here good to go. I can spam spacebar. That's that's what matters, right? I got the, the space bar smashing good to go. Megla's ready. Yeah, I said oh what the hell happened to that? <laughs> what what happened to that? Okay, it worked, okay. Oh did you see that? Like two app handles in it. That's uh, that was interesting. Okay, here we go. Or, uh, Becky, you too good? Vice, how's it going? No man's sky. Nice. Okay, here we go. I believe. I believe. You know what I realized too, Megla? In that run we did, I was using the uh, the device enhanced uh, thingies. Can't remember the name of them right now. I was using the, the, the little devices that give you a ton of power. Uh, the ones that don't drop anymore, that drop from the original disco lockbox. Um, I mean, it's okay, but I don't think it's a must-have. I don't... The issue with uh, with tanks is I don't know where you'd put it. Like, the, the issue tanks currently have is that they're basically just heavy DPS builds with some survivability. <sighs> just don't have room for, for things like that. Tragic CSV misfire. I love Stow. High quality servers. That basically kills. As soon as you have a CSV misfire, it kills a DPS room. It's fine, I'll finish this. Come on, I got slowed down a bit there. Yeah, as soon as the left side went down, it, this wasn't going to be as good of a run. Just get out of it, I'd say. Don't even kill the last thing. Um, when I tested them no scoped, um, it was earlier in the stream I used the uh, the Valkyries.
What was the weapon power number? I probably should have just let that finish, guys. I'm sorry. That's a force of habit when, when the, the run gets screwed up like that and we complete and there's like something left at the end just to, to kick and retry. That's just like a, a force of habit thing that I'm so used to from, from doing ISC runs. Um, so yeah, I'll send invites back out if people want to go again. Muscle memory, pretty much, because when you're when you're doing those, especially like if you're doing like a split run, you got to be on the ball, kick people out. Like something goes wrong, kick them out before it completes. Otherwise, you got to wait half an hour before you can try again. Yeah, I, I think the, the primary source of these new of these new consoles is ultimately going to be the Infinity R&D boxes. Um, Becky, did you not want in again? No, not go through. Submill not permissible? I don't know. I was not paying attention. Um, but you asked, you know, what did the number get to? So let's take a look. I see at the start here, 221. Yeah, I was sitting at like 220 as we went in. And look at that, I'm like staying above 200 there for so much of that. That's just great. Like that's why these new engineering consoles are just so good. Oh, and weapons went offline at the left side. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's just like a series of unfortunate events right there. Opinion on the new advanced science consoles. I haven't honestly looked at them at all yet because I'm not impressed. Um, you know, my initial impression on them was that the numbers on them did not look that good. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, you know, um, but my impression of the, the EPG meta is these things got to be like super OP to, to make people want to drop a bunch of the universal clickies that they're running. And I just don't know if they're that yet. And I'll let the, the players that deal with that side of the game, you know, talk about that more once they've got their numbers down. Um, but I think for the most part, the engineering consoles are really where this is at. And the drain console, well, I I have been of the opinion for, for a while now that I don't think drain is that valuable. Uh, Domingo, yeah, you can use colony ones. In fact, right now, on this build that I'm using, I am using five of the new uh, plas like the, the plus weapon power consoles with the plasma energy modifier on them. So same buff as I would have got from Spire consoles for the damage. And then I still have um, some some colony pack consoles on. Three hours of stream. Yeah, I mean, I would say if you're looking for a set of these consoles, realistically, it, you could just buy the cheapest ones on the exchange for the, the specific type you're looking for. Like you want a, the plus weapon power one, grab the cheapest one of those and start re-engineering re it. 24 hour stream one. If I do that, I'm, I'm going to have like a fun goal of like 40, 90. <laughs> um... What is the weapon power out after the consoles? 161. So like literally just sitting here. Is everyone good to go uh, cooldown-wise, by the way? 
Um, so just sitting here right now above me, Romulus, I'm at 161 over 100. Megla, Becky, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I could fit another console on. 176 at 7, yeah. It, it gets crazy. It really does. Like, this, these are good. Weapon power can have a pretty significant impact on your, your weapon's damage output, so... You're losing your crit chance, but you're gaining that weapon power, and that's not going to be better for everyone. But there are certainly builds, especially the, the one I'm at right now, with all the all the pay-to-win, like, crit chance stuff, the Endeavor's maxed out. I'm already at 100% crit chance, basically. Like, I look at my parse with no Spire consoles on, and I'm at 95 to 100. Here we go. Drop Lorca. Well, you just move Lorca down to attack console slot. I think even without level 70, it would be in Cryptic's best interest to give us another Starship trade slot. Honestly, I, I know that this is a lot of power creep I'm talking about here, but I legitimately think it might be might be advantageous for them to give us like 10, 10 starship trade slots. I know that sounds crazy, but my thought process behind it is, is that that would allow a wider range of build diversity. Because right now, if you want to do a hybrid CSV CRF build, it's difficult. It's really hard to fit all those traits on. Um, you want to do hybrid surgical strikes and CSV. It's really difficult to put all the traits on. If they give us those extra trait slots, it's going to increase power creep. There's, you know, there's no question about it. Every time they give us something new, it's increasing power. But we're at a point where the best six traits for most builds are pretty locked down. And if they want us to start buying other things, it's going to get to that point where they're going to have to give us some extra consoles eventually. Or extra starship trade slots. Console slots would help too. The creep, yeah, the, the power creep has already had such a wide extent. Like, what what is it going to hurt? That, I didn't even realize that side just went down like that. I don't even know what happened. I stayed over there way too long. I think it's Samir in bedtime is what I think. Later in the day it goes, the worse my piloting is. That's what I'm taking away from this. And I've got the stream disadvantage, because when you're, you're streaming or doing something live, you do worse. Yeah, 1.1 1, 1 .1 mil. Not even 1.1. .1. It's not good. Not good enough. Well, thank you all for, for the run there. Um, 
not the best flying from me, and that's just me being tired. Um, HSC, yeah, let, let, let's do an HSC. There's been requests for that. No, you're fine, Megla. I'm... It has been a long day. I wasn't even going to stream today, but I, I figured, what the hell. Because I know I've got videos to do, and if I do the stream tomorrow, that's going to eat into a lot of the time to to go through and work on videos. Okay. Who wants to join for HSC? I know there was one person I missed, I skipped over there for that ISC, and I do apologize. Let me get them. Um. So let me. Yeah, leave leave the TFO group. I'm gonna bad and relax. I know you wanted in. Um, let me scroll back up and chat here. Uh, Joodle, if you can put your at handle in chat, I'll send you an invite to the DFO group. Megaly, you want in? Hi. Judo, are you still here? Okay. Let me get you an invite. And Ice Knight for the fifth slot, okay. Uh, Tinfoil Ninja, you cannot use them at the same time as the Fleet Spire attack consoles. That's the, the trade-off. Um, that may sound like a loss, but keep in mind that you can... Re, like you can get plus phaser on these so like you're you're losing the the crit chance or severity the spire consoles had um but you're 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 gaining whatever buff you're going for uh judel are you online right now giving what people want the face cam yeah i know There it goes. Oh, uh, I was missing a D. That's what it was. There's a D missing. Okay. Here we go. Everyone good to go? The face cam. Yeah, look at all the, the great lighting in here. Graham, how's it going? How's the uh, the the Polish side of the world? That's weird. Um, now I don't know why it's doing that for you. You've got all the your spire consoles off. You don't have any of the advanced science ones on or whatever, because you can only run one like an advanced science for one profession at a time. At least you're you're only supposed to be able to. Okay, here we go. This looks like everyone is ready. Five onslaught elite. Yeah, I uh speaking of Polish, I've been yeah, I've been been playing O game. And I'm being like surrounded by by poles on the the new universe I started on. It's a bit concerning. Like I look look to my look to my left a little bit. Okay, maybe I went the wrong way. I could have sworn they were they were all around me. Okay, if I look to my right, right yeah, Poland, Poland, it's all the Poland. I thought there were more near me, but apparently not. Uh, ISC and HSC space. 
The S stands for space because it, it's just traditionally been easier to just say like hive space or hive ground. Yeah, you have to completely drop them. It's it's one or the other. Now you can still use the fleet, like the fleet colony consoles. Uh, you can use the Bellum tack consoles, but yeah, I don't spawn close enough to use the the lure. Goodbye, Tack Cube. Of course, I gotta send out expeditions and stuff. Multitasking. How brutal is that? <laughs> sort of a joke how easy that was. But that's that's elite content with the coordinated team in 2023. Sort of why we need like level 70, but there's a lot of players that still have issues with uh, even advanced level content. So Cryptic is not interested in making things harder. HSE no tank. There we go. Thank you all for 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 joining on that and you know, let, let's see how many of you got a uh, a thing out of the the box you got if you're opening it right away. Yeah. I did send out invites for Elites, Prime, 10k, uh, like the, the full round of uh, invites have went out for the BPS channels as of a day ago. Um, last night about this time, I think I sent them out. So if you guys have been waiting to get into like the, the DPS channels, then you know make sure to, to go in and see if you have an invite and if you have to hit the, the join button. When you see like DPS 10k, pop up that's because i'm doing a batch of invites and i am you know just just getting more people into the the, the community quite unlucky with the drops yeah yeah multitasking i mean o game with o game it's uh the, the gameplay loop with the, the new universe I joined is basically every hour and a half I send expeditions out and I get resources back. So that that's basically the gameplay loop. I click buttons, I get things. Let's see here. Yeah, well, I I think John's, you know, pretty much, I don't think he's coming back to Stowe. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that. But um, the, the issue with, like, the, the numbers side of things, like DPS, numbers, Elite, Prime, 10K, I've been, like, the only active mod for, for a while now, and I'm the only one that... Uh, that that can even do the invites right now because of the fact that 
they are like i have to go in and actually do like sql queries to to the database and say give me every at handle for everyone over 150k or 500k or whatever only one with the passion i I mean, like I said, I've said on previous streams, I've thought about, you know, of how, how much longer do I want to do that? And, um, you know, I'll, I'll, the best solution would be that we have a new parser that I can just get things set up on. We, we get like a community effort together, set up a, a new invite, you know, way, a way that I could send invites out and, and that and have other people send invites out like that'd be ideal, but. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, we had, there's a new parser. You know, I've shown shown a combat log analyzer or whatever is on stream before, and I I think it looks good. Uh, but getting a table integrated into that and like moving on from there, I I don't know. You know what what the realistic likelihood is that any of that's going to happen. But CLA, like I said, I, I like how CLA looks. Um, I like that it's personally I I like how how it's all set up. It's not for everyone. It's not going to be as like plain and simple as SCM is. I mean, SCM big bar tells you number. This one's, you know, you got to look at the the text. Ice Knight, congrats. Yeah, a lot of people get invited to the channels by other people. Uh, just uploading a like a pug run it happens that like that's that's the part of the point of having the the invites set up the way that they are that we send invites out to anyone that meets the you know that dps criteria um just has worked best for for growing it no tables i mean <sighs> the other thought is too is and i this this sounds weird of but what's the value in continuing to have leaderboards? You know, if, if SCM is stuck to what it has and literally can't be updated ever again, and we're at a point with power creep and highly coordinated runs where Thaleron's the top dog. And like, as you can see here, Thaleron 13.2 million DPS um yeah you know if the table is stagnated and we can't expand it is it worth continuing to pay for it need a better community and fleet to play with um yeah i have a maxed out fleet on fed and kdf um i can send you an invite but i will tell you right now my, my fleet socially is dead and that's largely by design. Um, most fleets in STO are basically just shopping malls. And the the better way for you to go about getting players to, to do certain content with is going to be through chat channels that anyone in any fleet can access. Or ideally, through something like a Discord. Uh, the, the, you know, one of the larger STO Discords. You've got the Reddit Discord, the the Wiki Discord, which is probably the the best for what you're looking for for that type of social activity, hanging out with people, doing things. The the Sto Wiki Discord is probably the best there for that. Um, the Builds Discord, we've got a lot of people on there, but we don't really organize TFOs there. We have nine online on TVC Fed, but there's not going to be any social activity. I can also invite you into McStud's uh, Fed Fleet. It's it's built out, but there might be a little bit more social. I think one of the big issues too, no scoped, is that when you actually get to that point where you can really start enjoying elite content, you start to realize that their servers suck. I don't know if it's like something, you know, on their side, if it's, you know, if it's the game code or they just are cheaping out on servers or if it's, you know, the, the net code, the, you know, the, the connection to the server. I don't know. But when when we lag out in TFOs, it's not just one person. And it's not like we don't have good Internet. 
I'd like to think my internet, uh, it's not great, um, but a one gig cable still should be more than capable of playing this game. Not that much recently, okay. Uh, yeah, let me swap characters because I'm on KDF right now. Yeah, gig is more than enough. Though I will probably, as soon as Google Fiber, like they're they're developing here in West Des Moines, right? I've seen so many Google Fiber trucks going past recently. It's been driving me nuts. Um, the the apartment that I live at, I don't think they're going to allow the the fiber install. I don't know if they have something like set up with the the cable company or what, but it's a bit annoying. Maybe we should be organizing TFOs with the Bills Discord. I'm pretty sure there's a channel. I'm pretty sure there's like literally a channel for that. I just don't think anyone's ever used it. Uh, doodle. Is your character hidden? Anti Google Satch, yeah. Um, yeah, Jay, I know, I can't believe it. Apparently, me saying hello. J or whatever I just said there just caused Google to Oh no, I said Google in my phone. My phone was like it was thinking I was talking to it. Terrible. Yeah, Judo, just drop the, the character name in here and... Or you're off right now? Okay, okay. I just read that. Just don't see anything. I may have nuked it. Like, there have been a ton of channels on the builds Discord that just got nuked because they just saw no use. Like, we, we throw... The builds Discord could definitely be set up a little bit better, but... um. Yeah, I must have nuked it. I think it was under run strategy. It just got like no engagement, so we probably just nuked it to clear up space. Yeah, but I don't have that handle or the, the character name. I don't know if it's that one I just ran with or. Yeah, we tried that. Like I've I've tried the the form stuff on a we we tried a builds channel with it and it got terrible engagement, terrible. We tried a bug area for it, like to report bugs, and basically, it it just seems that it. We I think we even may have done it was build help or ask questions here. We tried to do a form for it, for a couple days and did not was was not received Spencer uses Android yeah yeah pixel 4a I use a uh, pixel 4a uh, just normal, not 5G. And how do you leave a fleet on the on the members page or the the roster bottom bottom right on the roster page?
Uh, Nick, I'm scared to click whatever the message is that you just sent me. Pro tip, whenever you guys want to send an invite to just like a fleet invite to someone. I know Grim already put this in chat, but guild invite, character name, at handle. Fun fact, if you have invite permissions to your fleet, you can invite your own alts. So, um, like, Ripley, if you want to, want to, like, uh, if you have any other other characters you want to invite, you just type in slash guild invite, and in quotes you can do, you know, use your character name and that handle. So if I want to invite, let's say I wanted to invite my own character top fleet player, at Spencer B96. I just type that and I can invite my own character to the fleet. Nick. I I wish. You're sending me a bunch of Fat man getting excited about having like chicken tendies. I mean, I go for some chicken tendies right now, but that's uh, that's been unhealthy. You're a pro, yeah. There's lots of really nice chat commands, and if you know some of them, you you should not say them publicly, because cryptic is on like a war path to to hunt down, uh, gen send message type commands. Four hours stream? I still have four hours? I don't even know. Three hours, thirty-two minutes. I you know, I gotta I gotta match the, the WAN show, right? Uh, how long was WAN show this week? Three forty six twenty. You know, Lin Linus is putting out a bit of competition there. Yeah. Imagine on a... I think the WAN show has some interesting points. I usually skip through it. The timestamp person is, is wonderful. <laughs> what would be the best build for the Connie 3? Honestly, probably... Uh... If fire at will is better, I mean, then fire at will. But uh, beam overloads, unfortunately, that or exceed rated limits, probably your best bet. Um, which makes the ship quite boring to me. Level one text or go home? What about Steve? Saw a post earlier that Augmented Dictator Games is coming back to Stone or to, to YouTube. I've. I. If he does, just just know I've got him permanently blocked on everything. I do not. I'm not on good terms with him. I do not think he's a good person. I've blocked him and will not have any interaction with him. That's that's my my thoughts on that. Wendell and Steve, they're the dream team. Yeah. CSV. Single cannons. Oof. Of course, he's going for attention, so that's going, you know, coming back is going to get him a bit of attention. I, I don't think the, 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 my feelings on it, I, I've talked about a little bit before, but I don't think it's productive for me to, to state everything publicly. Just, no, like, I'm just, if he does come back, I'm not going to have any interaction with him. <laughs> ban rob that beam overload message please it hurts my eyes just
Uh, do you or can you show a vengeance build with the new consoles? I don't have a vengeance um, on any of my DPS characters. The only character I have a vengeance on is my fed tack tank character. And that character hasn't been updated in years. Um, but for, for the vengeance, you know, let, let's take a look at it. No, you're fine, Justin. You're fine. He augmented burned a lot of bridges with a lot of people in the DPS community. I think that's one of the reasons that, you know, he, that one of the, the contributing factors to him stepping away like he did. He's probably not going to have much success working with most of the, the remaining DPS groups. Um, I think I've talked about this part before, so I'll say, like, he has a reputation for coming in, wanting things from people, and then not doing the, not reciprocating, not not doing the, the parts that you would expect someone wanting to play in a team to do. Um, and that's something that I've I've known about him for a very long time. Even when I was dealing with Astro Zombie and them way back when Augmented was just getting started, he already sort of had that reputation of someone that is going to come in and ask for things from people, and he's not going to return the favor. Now, the, the other parts are that some of the things that he was saying, I was starting to think that, you know, he's maybe misleading people with some of the things. The, the fact that he's asking for money while simultaneously gifting hundreds of subs on Twitch. Not, not, a, great, not a great look would be what I'd say there. And I, I think a lot of people that defend him don't a, a lot of people that defend him had a parasocial relationship through the stream and didn't actually interact with him on a more personal level to get to know how he actually is yes indeed nicholas move on to me talking to you guys about wing commander if you have any of these new engineering consoles for pets and you want to boost your pets up a little bit faster, then Wing Commander is the premium way to go. Wing Commander will rank your pets up twice as fast, which means that they can get the damage boost from the new consoles twice as fast. Don't have the Vengeance on account wide unlock? I know, I do want to get the Calvin bundle eventually. Uh, Chi Ops, I don't know what you mean. That would never, never be at Chi Ops. We're getting uh, Wing Commander up. For a limited time, you can get it in one Limited time payment of thirty nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. There you go. What are my opinions on the temporal warships? They're still good <clears throat> for a beam overload build or CSV. They'll work perfectly fine. But yeah, the vengeance. Let me pull that up on the wiki. Oh, just three. Change the weapons your hanger pets use. You're using the Jirok. Well, not you can't change the, the weapons on your pets. You'll just have to change pets. Legendary Valdor, I think, is a very good ship. Um, I've been using it quite a bit with Spire consoles. And... Like it, it's been working really good. I think it's a really good ship. It's a, definitely a good beam overload platform or CSV. Yeah, if you want, Jay, um, I can take a look at it. I don't know if I'll get around to it tonight because I'm feeling like it's about bedtime. <laughs> Let's see, how long do I have to go to, to beat Wancho this week? 
How dare they create high expectations? Seven minutes. Refuse to buy muds until bundles go on 75% sale? Yeah. Okay, so the Vengeance... I mean, with these new consoles, it'd be pretty damn good. You do... I mean, you could do CSV on it, or Surgical Strikes. Run six of these new plus power consoles, or... Yeah, just do six of the plus power ones. Run Locator and some Bellum, or colonies and your tax slots for the universal uh, Vano DPRM and um, like the, the emulating phaser lance temporal warship trait I don't even remember what it was what it was to be honest with you I'm gonna have to look ask me about things from a long time ago oh no I'm just reading Discord. Terrible Megla. Terrible Rob. Terrible. Okay. Temporal Warships. Where the hell are they at in here? Uh, you're asking about the trade on them, so let me look at the the, the, the C-Store one. Heart of Soul. I mean, this is like a good budget tier trait. Like, it works budget tier, but I'm not going to... You know, if you already have a ton of the, the end game traits, like, I don't think it's necessary. I don't remember where Still Better has this in on their tier list. I can't imagine it's that. Like, it, it's it's solid. You know, don't get me wrong, but it's not. If you already have the better things, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm going to look here and it's going to be highly ranked now. It's not. That's what I thought. Feel vindicated. Yeah, I mean, fed ships get them the money. So it's like 10th in the rankings here. And it's only if you're using, you know, that corresponding damage type. Like, it, it's... I think it's a, like a good filler if you're missing something really good, but I don't think it's must-have. I, I don't think I've ever actually used it, to be honest with you. Uh, the Heart of Soul trade or whatever. Let's see. Domino, yeah, the Domino. I think my thing with Domino and the reason I don't recommend it as much is, you know, a lot of people don't have it, number one. And I have encountered a lot of people who will come to me asking for, for build help. And they tell me if I'm using something, I want to spam bar. It. And if people are wanting to just spam bar something like Domino, you know, that's something that's usually better manually timed for a place where you're going to be getting lots of kills. And if you are if you're not getting a ton of kills or if you're on like a single target build you know if you're on a beam overload build you're not going to be able to maximize domino domino scales up based on how many kills you can get in a certain time period and if you're on a build where you're doing you know like one target every couple seconds you're not going to get that much from it when will you replay the terran gambit arc on elite You just what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> what? 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 I've already done that. That was terrible.
Uh, the only ship that I could do Thaler on is the, the Scimitar. And if you're doing Thaler on, you want to go Legendary Scimitar. Um, Shell has a really nice write-up on how to Thaler on over on Stow Builds. I would say check that out if you're you're like actually serious about wanting to do Thaler on. But just to know that it is like you you have to have a coordinated team for it. It's just you either have a coordinated team for it or what what's the point? Where's my live stream window? Here it is. Oh wow, I'm far behind on that chat. What's the best hanger pets to use? Uh, let me pull it up. That's going to depend. That's going to depend on, are you using SAD? Are you using coordinated assault? Do you not have either of them? Uh, Sto better has a tier list. And if you scroll down on this page, there are mentions for hanger pets. Now, I don't know if every last thing is covered under every last scenario. But I would recommend personally, if you're going with SAD, which if you're heavy, if you're heavily investing in a carrier build, you really want to have SAD, superior area denial. Uh, then I would say probably rare Todus or with the Valkyries. I mean, either of them I've, I've liked. Just make sure it's fighter squadrons. Rob, good night. This week has been fun. Yeah, it's been a fun week. I've got 500 messages on Discord right now. Voyager, you got 27 keys? Good luck. Uh, Data, if you're listening, I'm as far as I'm aware, complex plasma fires is now fixed. Oh no. Drag them all, no TBR. Master <sighs> Dude, I'll see you around. Take care. I'm just looking, I'm catching up on chat. Yeah, it's incredibly complex, which like, I, I would say for anyone wanting to even think of attempting Thaleron, you have to understand that the only successful Thaleron run that has happened for IS or for ISE right now took that team months to prepare for. And even once they were at a point where they had their strategy down and builds down, like they, they took several hours, multiple weekends in a row to get those runs down. And that's on top of, you know, how many hours of training of theory crafting builds like. It is. It's not a trivial thing to do. Thaleron is difficult. And I. Megla, thank you. I appreciate you. I am realizing right this moment that I've made a tragic mistake. I forgot to queue for the event this morning. That means because of where I'm at, I'm going to have to buy out two days of the event in order to complete it this uh, the event campaign this time around. <laughs> if I had done it this morning, it would have been fine. Uh, I'm going to have to buy it out to complete it this time. That's fine. I'll, I'll have to pay like 100 Zen for it. But I can't solo the TFO. I probably not. I'm, this is fairly difficult content. Sent you a non Tetrion stream giveaway, not a ship. Well, the thing with the uh, feedback pulse and like reflection is that player feedback is the same as NPC feedback, it's just that. 
player damage is good and NPC damage is complete garbage. So that's why Feedback Pulse does so much more for NPCs, even though they've got the same thing, you know, that we have. How much progress am I at? I'll take a look after this. Oh, I'm not on my Hydra. I can't one-shot everything. Aw, oh, CSV misfired. I can't believe it. I should have brought the Hydra. That thing just one-shots everything. Wow, practical use of the Nadarian. I have to reject this reality. A practical use of a Nadarian. I just, I can't. It's just disgusting. The sickest thing I've seen all week. No, and remember, talking about AFKing a Q is something you can be punished for her band. Uh yeah, it's on the the STO wiki, um the the new one. That STO wiki link will will have it covered. I'm sort of like, just for fun. This is the the Elias part of me, but I I like to sometimes just sit on one area by myself here, and just just see if the other teams can hold their areas, especially on normal difficulty. Because you know we're we're sort of, you know, we each got a zone to cover, so I need to I need to sit here and protect this. I mean, the Delkina, if you want to use these new, these new engineering consoles is, is better in that regard, but the, the Valdor's, I mean, the legendary one, that's on account unlocked. Like, that's a solid ship. I, I've gotten as good of runs in the Valdor with Spire consoles as I have with the Delkina and these, these new uh, plasma consoles, or the, the new weapon ones. Four hour long stream. I'm gonna end it at like five at three fifty nine just to annoy you. Billy, how's it going? I appreciate it, Bowman. Barry has a gun. Any stream tomorrow? Probably not. Um, I have videos that I want to get done, and if I stream, they will not get done. I... I legitimately, like, for, for me, I don't watch any other Stow content creators anymore. Um, I mean, every now and then I might pop in Triz's stream to, to mess around with them, but just 
there's not enough going on in Stowe. You know, I'm, I'm not going to learn anything watching someone else do a build. Um, I, I don't enjoy the, the like RP type content or like the... What am I trying to say? The uh, like the demo record stuff it just doesn't interest me. It's, it's I've never been into that. Just uh, Japs. Eject warp plasma. <laughs> How did testing on the hangar pack consoles go? Like, doubled the damage output with seven of them on. That's how it went. Do I kill myself with feedback pulse? That's today's question. Okay, she just defaulted over to Gamma because her health was too low. Feed back up on all of them. Look at that. I can still fire the experimental weapon from even this cloak. That's nice. Uh, it's crazy. As soon as the feedback goes away, she just dies. Um, let's see. On what date will I release the next video? If I say that I'm going to release a video today, it's not going to happen. It's literally as soon as I say a video is coming out at X time on X date, it doesn't happen. It's, it's terrible. I have videos that I am going to work on and I would like to get them done. I can't guarantee a specific time frame because... Who knows what the hell is going to happen when I wake up, you know, so I might have to, to go out and do things with the family. I, I really don't know. Legit, don't end your stream without giving away that console. Okay. The bot is set up. Megla wants me to do a giveaway here. I am going to set this up. Let me beam to the command center. The correct action hub and stow. I can't for for a couple of days because I'm gonna. I tried to add it to to State Farm earlier to to my current plan, and it just the the cost they wanted for like the, what they were doing was just. Don't know why it was that high. Yeah, I know. So slash G create. Doing this for five minutes and this is courtesy of Megla. I can't type to help my. It's getting a bit late. I can't even add Megla to the end of it. Okay, this is courtesy of Megla. It's five minutes, and it's it's autographed by the Zeta Reticulin himself. Did that just duplicate a ton of times?
I want to start revolution to end 30 day complaints. Well, it didn't go. Okay, there's one of these. So in this one here, which is when the this one here that ends with seven three two ends, that is the giveaway. Martin, thank you for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the Titan. I seem to really struggle with that content. I did. I mean, things lived more than a second. I didn't know how to handle myself. Is the next video coming up between 2023 and 2025 or 2050? No. Um, no. The next video will be during 20. Is that Fleet Scout Lucari ship good? Yeah, it's one of the top EPG boats. If you go to the builds discord and you go to the EPG section, um, there is an entire EPG category down near the bottom and the like massive flood of channels there. But there are some builds for a variety of size ships and th there's some builds for, for that Lucari one. That okay, <laughs> okay. Um, see how the giveaway goes. Oh, raffle. Oh, um, I t That's a thing, apparently. Not the first time I've seen that. <laughs> apparently, that's a, it's a, that's becoming a common occurrence. I don't get it, and you know, but people do what they want. <laughs> you know, uh, we need to get into the business of indecipherable buildings. <laughs> Uh, the fleet one is, um, it's like a boomerang or whatever, right? Four hours, three minutes, 22 seconds. I win. You can trade next, trade with me. I'm sitting right next to you. That's, that's pretty concerning. I mean, that's, that's a little, a little concerning. Standing right next to me. I'm not, I'm not tired at all. Um, message request. Yeah. Um, Ack, if you're listening, I. Probably uh, be sharing that soon. I'm pretty happy with the build, to be honest. I, I think the Delkino with those new consoles is doing pretty well. 24 people, 45 seconds left for a chance to win this console, donated by the Zeta Reticulin himself, Begla. Drive from. <laughs> From Iowa to Australia. It's not raffle. It's in the in my Discord, which is linked in the description down below. If you're in there, you go to the giveaway channel, you hit the blue button. There you go. Nick, I mean, Nick's Nick's lost. Nick is fully into to wow. With enough willpower, the, the car can make the ocean drive. Jag, drop your at handle in the thread I am about to 
good to make here. Let's see, thread, create thread. Congrats. Drop me your at handle in that thread, and I will get you this Zeta Reticulin signed console. You'll have to re-roll it to the, the modifier you want, but it's already epic. And I am covering that part of the, the, the screen. Yeah, so on this, on the uh, the giveaways page, uh, Jag, just hit this two messages button right here to see the thread and drop your handle in there. I appreciate you, Voyager. <clears throat> What? They're online. They're gonna re-roll, re-roll in five minutes if no response. Oh no! Got my FPS being tanked in the background. Red Angel suit still good. I mean, it's more of a fun thing, right? Uh, it's not like. <laughs> it, it's not good. That your crack that handle is. Jag eight six. It, it's a fun thing. Is it thirty dollars fun? That's that's entirely up to you. I see people spend their money on some really crazy things in this game. I don't get it, but people like it. Okay, Jag, I'm sending this to your ad handle that you posted in the chat. J E G eighty six. Here we go. It went. I don't even want to know what's going on in chat right there, Grim. Um, spend fifteen hundred lobby event campaign rewards on Kellids. You know, I honestly I've thought about completing that set for a long time, but the drop rate on the uh, the the ones is just so brutal. The 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 very rare Kellids are. And look at that, 200, 450 mil, but then the, the drop rate on them is just brutal. It took me, I think, like 4.5k Lobi the last time I did it on Triple. Yeah, I think, I've, I think I did it in a video over on Triple, and it was brutal. great period of time with Kellen sales. Yeah, I think I put out that video and I mentioned Borgus tweeting that like 30 people in the game or something had ever done it. And then of course people are like, well, I want to, I want to get it done. Because if you collect all of them. Yes, ending stream. Probably not a bad idea. Really, probably not a bad idea. So I want to say thank you to everyone who became a subscriber here. Elijah, Nick for, for gifting subs, uh, Zankethi for the donation there, Nick for the donation. And again, uh, I think Megali, you said this was you, whoever did the, the $20 um, anonymous tip the other day. You know, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, not everyone's on the members list yet. I, I think I'm going to have to add, like, I don't even know how the hell I'm fan another 20 people on this. That's a good problem to have, though. Um, yeah, so thank you to everyone for tuning in. As always, stay tuned for more content in the future. I don't know when the content will be or what the content will cover, but it'll happen. I need to sleep. Good night.